Hello, 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 everybody. Hi. Hi. Oh, my goodness. Hi, ghosties. I hope everyone's doing well today. So, there's been a little bit of a change of plans today. Uh, we were supposed to be doing something, but now we're doing something else. Because, you know, ADHD go brr, 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 as per usual. Um, so, hello. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Twitch. We are simulcasting because this is a ginormous occasion. Uh, today, I'm here with uh, Normum. Say hi, Normum. Hi, Normum. No, no, you're supposed to oh. say hi. <laughs> hi and honk. Oh, my God. Honk. Hold on. Hold on. We're not, we're not in there yet. Like, yeah. Okay, hold on. I've got to change the scene. They can see the, the ghosts. They can't see you. Mm. Okay, hold on. Let's just get up in the basement and let's do this. So welcome to the basement. My mom, Selena Normie, a.k.a. Normum. Hi, mom. Hi. <laughs> Honk. And she's a goose. Just today. Just today. <laughs> just today. Today I'm taking my goosely form. You're taking a goosely form? Yeah. So you have more than one form? Yeah. Yeah. Why? I'm like, you know, goose is like my familiar. You know, like witches have black cats? Yeah. I have a goose. You've got a goose? Yeah. So <laughs> occasionally when the moon is right, I become the goose. Oh. Are you a were goose? Yeah. 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 Like a were goose. A were yeah. goose. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So, um, ghosties, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, so this is my mum. This is my actual mum. Uh, I know some people pre have pretend mums or art mums. Or rig mums. This is my real mum, my actual mum, and um, yeah, we are we are streaming today, and we're just gonna be uh, chatting to you about all kinds of stuff, and hopefully uh, not doxing ourselves. But mainly ourselves. geese, obviously. Wait, what? Mainly geese. Mainly obviously. geese, obviously. <laughs> Do you know a lot about geese? Uh yeah, I know. Like, I'm like a goose spurt. <laughs> You're a goose spurt. What the fuck? Now I thought that Celia was the only one making puns, and yet now, yeah. Oh no, I know. It rubs oh, off. No. Yeah. <laughs> um. By the way, all the ghosties are saying hi. So, uh, Normum can't see the chat. So Normum has no idea what any of you are saying. You could be rude as to me, and I just <laughs> wouldn't see it. We'd right over my feathers. Oh my god! I love how posh. How? Why are you going all posh all of a sudden? I love we start the stream, and Normum's like, "Hello, everybody. It's me, Normum. <laughs> I'm so old. <laughs> I'm posh. I am old." <laughs> And I'm incredibly posh. Incredibly no, we're posh. not posh at all. That's the thing. We're not posh at all. Oh my god! Someone says geese are scarier than ghosts. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you've a seen ghost both will geese. Peck, peck the shit out of you. You've Honestly, been both particularly if uh, they're young or attacked. Really? Oh yeah. Oh really? I've seen it. Oh my god. Yeah, I've seen it. Is I've it worse it. than swans though? Oh, much worse. Wait, geese are worse than swans. They they use I geese as guard that. guard dogs. Are you serious? Yeah. No. They do. Yeah, no, they do. No. They do. They have done. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. They'll like, that. Yeah, it's not just the honking. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pecking. It's the pecking. It's the charging. It's the teeth. A, a goose will charge it. Do you. they have teeth? Yeah, totally. Oh, God. No, they don't have teeth. <laughs> Apart from, obviously, a, were, a were goose. <laughs> oh, she does have teeth. <laughs> Geese have scary tongues, too? Yeah. Says someone in the chat. Do they? They do, they do yeah. When, when they're in full honk. You know, oh they're God. throwing their beak open. Yeah, <laughs> you'll see tongue. You will. Oh, you somebody, won't like it. Oh my God! Okay, somebody's roasting me. I know you said they could roast you, but they're roasting me now. What? Somebody said, "Why in a thousand years would you let your mother know anything about what you do on the internet?" <laughs> because she takes it real well, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, I, I've explained VTubing to you several times now. What, like I'm an old person? Yeah. Okay. Um, no. Oh, yeah, because my, like, Zimmer frame, and, yeah, doesn't have, you. what, it, what, what is a you, YouTube-y? What, 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 what is that? What is a YouTube? Oh, well, I had to explain Twitch to you five what? minutes ago. Okay, all right, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Okay, but come the end of the world and this all goes down. Oh, no, here we go. You'll all be useless and I'll be like, yeah, here's my cassette tape. Oh, my God. I'm going to listen to some music. <laughs> what you need to know about Normum is she's not a doomsday prepper, but she has hoarded every single video game yeah. console we've yeah. ever owned oh, yeah. just in case. Yeah, end of the world. Just in yeah. case. Yeah. Are you going to use it as um, bartering, buttering uh, no, no, tokens? No, no. no, no you're I'm just, just going to play gonna it? play. On what? Yeah, when the, I'm going to play as the world ends. You know, like Nero fiddled as Rome? ended i'm gonna just play 
I'm going to game at the end of the world. I'm going to get myself like a uh, like a generator. <laughs> when the electricity goes out, I'll be the one. Will you the, also find the, one of those old TVs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it'll be CR TV. Yeah, there'll be one of those. No, no, I've got one hoarded somewhere. You know I have. Oh, no. Yeah, it's up in no, the loft. It's up no, in the loft. No, I, no. I made your father put it in no. the loft and oh we're going to bring it down and I'm just going to game while the world burns. That's what I'm going to do. Are you gonna, and if you want to join me, that's yeah. okay. I mean, look, I've still got all my old my old discs, oh. but are, are you going to put on Crash Bandicoot and then, and then we're going to have another yelling session yeah. about <laughs> Sure, <laughs> sure, sure, yeah. Oh, I've, yeah. I've told everyone the story about you and Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. How well it went. Yeah, it's, it's bad. <laughs> no, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Yeah. And how I, dad I nearly like, kicked us out of the house. I feel like I feel like the one with the ball mm. is like a metaphor for life. You the know? one with the ball? Yeah, Which yeah, one? we we crash is running away from the ball and you're like running. Oh just the boulder, run, right, the yeah, boulder. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a metaphor for life. Oh, is it, it really? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's deep ass. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I mean just about every level of crash is like a metaphor for some aspect <laughs> of life or other. You know? I love that this has become a philosophy. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're like video games <laughs> philosophy. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like a philosophizing goose. Oh my goodness. Somebody, okay, we have, uh, by the way, if you have any questions for Norma in the chat, please feel feel uh, feel free to throw them in there. Oh my God. Okay, so somebody on YouTube says, which fast food do you prefer, <laughs> McDonald's or KFC Norma? Well, me, I mean, I don't have, I, I mean, I do have a favorite fast food. It's Cocoa Duck. It's Korean fried chicken, but I was gonna say you don't you don't like fast food very much. No, it's the devil's work. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. All right. That'll kill you faster right. than Wait, a wagon. Hold goes. on, hold on. Now, now I was gonna say, are you about to tell a bunch of VTubers who who, who don't. don't go outside well, and who eat nothing but KFC? Oh, well, learn to cook. <laughs> learn to cook. That's all I'm gonna say. By the way, Norm Mum is yeah. a vegetarian, yeah. so um, fast food is kind of out of the picture most well, of the no, time. Oh no, you do get vegetarian fast food. I mean, food, you do. But, like I just. I yeah. hate it. I, I hate know. it. I know. Except Domino's. You like Domino's? Uh, <laughs> I, I had it about two years ago mm-hmm. and I regretted it. I got like a hangover the next morning. Like a fast food. Like, that started oh. to me this year too. Yeah. 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 yeah I had KFC one time. getting old now. So, oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Okay. No. Do you know? Do you know? No mom tortured me once. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it was my 29th birthday and she gave me a fucking birthday card that said, Happy 30th birthday, <laughs> Norma, on it. And I literally oh. opened I opened the envelope, looked at the front, and it was like, Happy 30th, Norma. I was like, fuck you, it threw uh, the card uh, on uh, the floor. Actually, uh, actually, Norma, I was doing you a favour, you know, because I was just getting you used to 30 before 30. That's all I was doing. I was like, face it now, face it now at 29. Oh my God. And then when 30 comes, it won't be as bad. So. Somebody said, philosoph- philosoph- Phil, Phil, Phil goosifying. Phil yeah. go, Phil goose, goosifying. That's, that's mm, it. Mm, yeah. mm. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to be a Phil goosifer? <laughs> Somebody also said, my favorite goose tuber. Oh, hey, Norma's here too. Oh, my fucking God. They like you a lot, apparently. Aww. Honk. <laughs> it's like going to be a big, you're just like, honk. Yeah. Is that a happy honk? Honk. honk. And then you're like a sad honk. Honk. <laughs> You don't want to hear the sad honk. No, you don't want to hear the sad honk. Mm. I I can cry now. Did I tell you that my 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 face can cry now? Oh, and I cried on stream the other day, and um, every, I know everybody Ooh. lost their shit. Yeah, yesterday when I streamed, I I put my crying on, and they were uh. all like, "No, please." <laughs> what did you cry for? Nothing. Um, oh. because people are mean to me all the time on the internet. This is how internet works. <laughs> yeah, well, you got you got the guard goose now. I got the guard goose now. Yeah, now goose Careful. will get in there. No, mum is watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You better not send me any hate comments on the YouTubes anymore. <laughs> guard goose will come at it. You will see the tongue, and you oh, will no. not like it. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. mum, I don't think you should be offering them the tongue. I think they might like it. <laughs> <laughs> goose tongue. I think they might be into it, mum. Please. Oh no. Oh no. Nah. No. Oh my goodness. Somebody just said Norma's mom is the goat. I mean, goose. She's the goose. Lol. <laughs> um, somebody also said, uh, I like you too, Norma. Don't worry. To be fair, new thing for ADHD brain. That's true. You got to get used to stuff. You got to take your time with stuff with you have ADHD. Take your time. Yeah, well, you got you got to like get your head around stuff sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Several times. I was just gonna say, take your time and ADHD. Do no, not no, really that's go. True. It's like that's rush true. headlong. <laughs> throw yourself into it I was with gonna gay say, abandon. <laughs> <laughs> with gay abandon yeah gay abandon yeah <laughs> oh dear I was gonna say so um you have ADHD as well yeah people haven't already t- can tell they yes. can tell they know and autism and autism yeah yeah but you got diagnosed like recently yeah like kind of recently like a, I was probably like mm. 49 50 mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah yeah what was that like 
What was it like? Yeah. Uh, well, no, but I, I knew I was autistic by then. It was mm -hmm. so weird because, uh, like, growing up with an autistic kid. Yeah, they know Frankie's got autism. Yeah, I know. I didn't really think, I didn't really look at myself and go, oh, where where has this come from? Mm -hmm. um, until... <laughs> so like, you looked at, so you looked at your, yeah, your well, parents it, and went, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, no, 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 no. See, I always worked <laughs> from mm. home, mm -hmm. you know? And the minute I got a job and went out into, like, normal people, I was like, mm. oh, shit. Um... <laughs> One of these things yeah. is not like <laughs> the other things. Is that when you go, is it me? I, I went, oh shit, it's me. Oh no. <gasps> oh no. I, all, all, all along I was like, it's other people, they're assholes. No, <laughs> oh my God, it's me. And uh, so I went and I like, mm. I, I did the test online. As we all um, do. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, I've aced this. <laughs> um, so I better go and see somebody about this shit. Mm -hmm. And when I went, he was like, oh yeah. And you've also got ADHD. And I was like, what? And then you called me. I love that your yeah. first instinct was yeah. to call me and be yeah, like, Norma, you've ADHD. Yeah, and I was, and I was like, like, what? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, guess what's in the family <laughs> as well as superpowers? Oh, my is God. This? I know, because you were also convinced I also had, had autism, but I failed the test really badly. Mm. So, mm. I mean, mm. nah. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Go figure. I know, I know. But I love that your first instinct is like, let's call Norma and tell her she yeah. has ADHD. Yeah. And then I had to go and find out. And I then mean, it, lo and to behold. To be fair, though, there's no way you're organized enough to have autism. Oh, my you're God. Just not. No, you're not. You're not. You're, not. <laughs> you're just not. No, no. You're like, I've seen your no. house. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I've yeah. come to your basement. Yeah. I've looked at how messy things that's are. That's right. Yeah. Oh, my God. Your goodness. basement needs a good tidy. Oh, no. This is as clean as it gets yeah, down here. Really? Look, I've, I've, really? No, I've cleaned it. Look, look how clean it is. There's, uh, uh, things are on shelves. Yeah, okay. There's, there's stuff. Okay. The, okay, the cushions still. are placed on the bed. I feel like I could do a better job. In oh, this. my God. I feel like the goose at it. And, um, yeah. No, Mom's like, please let me clean your basement. Oh, yeah. Please. Please Organization is my superpower. <laughs> to be fair, you guys should see see No Mum's house. It's like literally spotless all the time. It's crazy. I yeah. go over there and I'm like, I feel bad now. <laughs> my house is terrible. <laughs> my house is not meant to make your house feel bad. It will. Oh, each come house on. should do their own thing. What, to know? make each other feel bad? No. Yeah. Each, you know, each to his own. Each house to his own. Oh my God. Your house has got its own flavor. It's true. It's yeah. a flavor of just unclean. Yeah. <laughs> No, not real. No, no, that's <laughs> only not true. Sometimes. No. Only sometimes. Only sometimes. Messy. It's not unclean. It's messy. Oh, messy. Is there messy. a difference? Yeah. Between unclean and messy? Yeah. It's clutter. Okay. Yeah. Which is different to like hoarding level of like it's actual not, It's dirt. not hoarding. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. I mean, m mine is mm. like plant hoarding. No, it is. Yeah, I would it say. Is. I would say that's. I mean, I live in a greenhouse. Basically. You do. I, you really I, I do. do. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many plants in Norm's house that mm. literally, if you if you turn anywhere, there's a cactus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, just everywhere you turn around you're like, oh another one yeah oh another one yeah. oh another one the other day we were over there and and my little nephew um basically nearly <laughs> nearly touched a cactus at least three times yeah just from walking through the house i mean autistic people and spiky plants i really feel like there's a like an affinity oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. is yeah, that yeah, is yeah. that you're like you're like warning people you're like hello yeah. welcome to my if spiky I was plant, a plant house. i would be a cactus <laughs> Her. You'd be a cactus. Yeah. So next time you're going to turn up as a cactus. Yeah, that's me. I'm reincarnating <laughs> as a cactus. No, no, not a goose cactus. Cactus. Oh my goodness. Somebody has a question for you in the chat. Mm -hmm. Does your autism make you not like other people as well? Um, look, I guess I feel on the outside looking in. Mm. I feel like I'm not part of the in joke. I feel like I'm not part of the in crowd. And however hard I try, I just can't climb the bloody fence. Mm. I think that's 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 how I feel. I do like people, but I really struggle to express it mm. um, without being creepy. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I really like you. What Would you was, please be my friend? What was the chat we had the other day? We're, we're like, we're like, oh my god, where a lot of people they talk about just random stuff, right? All the time they just talk about random yeah, I know. shit. That's like just like, like, how's the weather? I you do know? not like small talk. No. I like big talk. <laughs> yeah, mom and I go into a conversation and we're like, how's your mental health going? <laughs> I heard you had depression. <laughs> sounds creepy when you say it like that but it's not it's like i don't know i don't know what it is it's big talk yeah it's big, yeah you're right it is big like, talk cut the small talk get to the big talk <laughs> i just don't understand the point of small mm. talk there's no point how are you That's you're not going to tell me if i say if i say oh how are you doing mm. you know most people go oh yeah i'm sweet they're not and then they'll ask you how you're doing it be like well this well, morning yeah. <laughs> right 
<laughs> actually, not so great. <laughs> I actually stubbed my toe on the way here. Um, you didn't need to know why I was 15 minutes late, but I'm going to tell you anyway. <laughs> Here's the story. Here it comes. <laughs> and then everyone's like, what the fuck was that? Hmm. Um, I was going to say, do your ADHD and your autism, though. Yeah. Uh, is it like a battle or yes. is it like smooth? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, like, like. My, my ADHD is in control right now. It's oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, it's I can probably feel... because it can feel my ADHD. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, I, I, that's what happens. It. It's like <laughs> it's like we're like two balls in a, a pinball machine that's bouncing true. off each other right now. That's true. And Mrs. Autistic is sitting at the back of my head going, "Oh, you're embarrassing the shit out of me." <laughs> now, can you you're just fine. say something sensible? Say something like smart. You know, yeah, say something smart. Put some niche. People will niche. Think you, yeah, put some Nietzsche in there. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Talk about something important. Discuss philosophy and then books. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a constant battle. Somebody said, um, "Do you have a favorite color?" Do know. I have a favorite color? Mm. Well, it depends. I suppose. It used to be yellow. ADHD. For a while it was yellow. ADHD loves a yellow. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Autism just loves shades of gray. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, you also decorate your house like every other week, so I can't. I can't tell. And that's not true. <laughs> that is untrue. No, it's it is yeah. true. It's well, incredibly I, I true. I don't like sitting down. No, no, I know. I'm really it's, struggling here. It's funny too because um my my dad, my dad nor nor dad is um very 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 um well he's not I wouldn't say he's he's neuro he's not neurodivergent. He is. Well, no, because he's he's got his dysle dyslexia counts, it is. doesn't it? Yeah, it's part yeah. of the spectrum. So he's so he he has something, but he, he's like very normal. <laughs> is that the best way of putting it? He's kind of like, I don't know. Well, if you imagine, uh, like, um, you know the TV show with mm. the twitchy nose witch? What's it called? Uh, oh, The Witch. The Witch, yeah. Mm. He's like Darren. <laughs> like, he's like, like the Darren. Like of the, da, 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 da. He is. He's like, oh, uh, yeah. And the rest of us are like, <laughs> what? Samanthering the shit around. Oh, yeah. my God. And this is the thing, though. This is the thing, right? Uh, like, especially because I feel like. Obviously, I have ADHD. You have diagnosed ADHD. We have um, one of my younger brothers, Asher, who 100% has undiagnosed ADHD. Yeah. Mm. And then we have Frankie, who probably also has... He's he's autistic, but he, he definitely 100% potentially has. Oh, no, he does. He does. Because, <laughs> like, you can tell when everyone's together in yeah. the same house. Yeah. Because you, me, and him, when, when mm -hmm. we're together, like, the three of us are just like... <laughs> It's a whole situation. Yeah, it is. It's like... Yeah, my poor wife. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Celia's like, I yeah. don't know what I signed up for. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Non-ADHD people just can't keep up with this shit. It's true. It's like it's brain. True. Brain too fast. Yeah, too fast. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Somebody said goose honk. Well, of course. Goose is honk. Honk. Honk, honk. Um, I was honk. telling everybody, um, you've got a new favorite video game. Yes. Um, And it's Untitled Goose Game. Mm -hmm. And... The and that's why you've turned yourself into a goose. That's why. I've decided <laughs> goose is my familiar. Mm -hmm. I yeah. was telling them um, that your favorite thing to do in that game is um, is the honking. Honking. Mm. Drive-by honk. Is that uh, what I have perfected the drive-by honk. Uh, okay. The um, head over the shoulder drive-by honk <laughs> with disdain. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, with disdain with now. With disdain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love watching you play Untitled Goose Game because one of your things that you like to do is walk past someone and go at casual, at casual, at casual. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do casual goose. I do. I do. Mm. I was like, none to see here, just a casual goose. I, I love Can the I'm dialogue like... that comes with it though because you literally are like at casual, at casual. And we're both like, okay. I have to narrate. <laughs> I do narrate everything though. Mm. I do. I do. I do. Now, it, is that an autistic thing or an ADHD thing? Because I can't uh, I think it's ADHD. I think so, too. I, I do, too, yeah. <laughs> it's that constant, like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. My friend Kamori just said fast and goostious. <laughs> 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 You're like, casual goose, casual goose. Oh, honk, 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 honk. Honk with disdain. Oh, dear. Somebody said, I like when the goose honks inside a bottle. Have you done that part yet? Where you oh, I have bottle? not. <gasps> have you tried honking while you're holding stuff? Yes. It's great. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have. And mm. I've, I've, I've honked with the, uh, the walkie-talkie honk. The walkie-talkie honk is oh, great. Oh, yeah, I like mm. that. I like that. I particularly like um, playing uh, football as well. Playing football yeah, as yeah. a goose? Yeah, in fact, I was mm. better at playing football as a goose <laughs> in uh, that game mm. than I am in real life. Well, that's because of, because of you know. Yeah, dyspraxia. <laughs> dyspraxia. <laughs> Turns out the goose does not have dyspraxia. So no, I don't think this so. This is why I'm a goose today. So. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we've got a super chat. Thank you so much, Abraham, for a super chat. So a super chat is when people pay us money because oh, they want us to see their, their comment. The comment is, hey, Norm, I have a question for your audience, mostly from the West, okay, the, the US, UK. I'm from uh, the US, by the way. Okay, what's your question? Hit us with it. I know, so so Norm is, is obviously from the UK. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you can't tell, her accent is slightly more British than mine. Is it? <laughs> is it though? Oh, Everyone... I can do posh. Is it though? Oh, see, darling? I do that all the time. I'm like, oh, well, let me show uh, you how British I can be. Oh, yes, <laughs> cup of tea. Cheerio. I am sitting here with a cup of tea, tea and though. Crumpets. I am. But yeah, like, like uh, it's so weird because your accent has, has held off a lot longer than mine. I mean, your accent is still very British. Yeah, mm. I guess. But then, Do you think yours has changed? Mine has changed. No, when I phone back to the UK, they're like, oh. <laughs> you sound so Kiwi. You sound so Kiwi. And I'm like, oh. But I will <laughs> never say beer. You'll never say beer? Yeah, it'd be bear. Bear. Yeah. That's beer. what I, I contradict your father all the time, you know. Cause oh, because he, he's like, oh, I'll get your beer. No, no, not beer. <laughs> Beer is how they say bear. You're not like bear, like bear. Oh, yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So I go bear. It's a bear. It's, it's a, a bear. Te- yes, it's a it's teddy, teddy bear. bear. Yeah, he's teddy beer. Beer. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, what, what mm. is that? Teddy beer. That's weird. Mm-mm-mm. What is a teddy beer? Is it Mm-mm-mm. some new brew? What is it? Like Mm-mm. a craft beer? Oh, sorry. Somebody said the question is the super chat. Hold on. Huh? Is your audience mostly from the West, the US or the UK? I mean, I think most most people in the chat are probably from America. Um, when I check my analytics, they tell me you're mostly from America, which is good because I, I always check my analytics um, sometimes because I want to make sure that nobody watches me from New Zealand. <laughs> like nobody. I, I like as little New Zealand viewers. That sounds bad. That sounds yeah. really bad. I, I was just like, it what? It sounds so bad. But yeah. I, no, no, it's because, it's because it, right, if I ever get to the point where my channel gets a little bit big, at the moment my channel's teeny tiny, so it doesn't really matter much. But I don't know how often it'll be at the super. Well, that's what I was just going to say. <laughs> Sorry, Celia's. Oh I told God. you she'd do this. I, I knew <laughs> it. I would invite Norm here in. and Celia's She's like, we're here too. <laughs> Quiet from the cheap seats. Oh, my God. But I was going to say, like, no, th- that's the nightmare, right? Is you go to the supermarket and next minute, you, like, I say something to Celia and someone goes, oh, I hear a voice. Dude, you just, like, shout across the supermarket. Yeah. Like, Where's the milk? Where's the milk? And someone, and someone goes, goes oh. I hear Norma. I heard her screaming. That's most of my, my, my channel, though. It's mostly screaming, to be fair. Mm. So, I mean, mm. if I, if someone here, although I don't scream a lot in public, do I? No. 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 No, I you keep don't. That, I keep that for here. Keep it on the down low. <laughs> well, it's not really down low. I think the neighbors are very annoyed. No, no, in public. <laughs> in public. Oh, you're true. Yeah. yeah. True. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like in and out. In I mean, out. I, maybe that's just an if ADHD thing. If you go thing. out in public at all. Ah, okay. Yeah. Thanks for calling there's me that. out. No, but there's wow. that. Wow. What a read. I, I just say, <laughs> just say, just say. Oh my God. Just saying you're a little too fond of this basement. Uh, look, I like a this basement a lot. A little too fond of the basement. But look how nice the basement it, is. It's nice, but you know, there are other parts <laughs> of the world. Yeah, we spent a lot of money on this basement. Well, I, 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 I get it, but it <laughs> doesn't mean like you can't leave the basement. But I, I like it in here. It's comfy yeah. and yeah. cozy and Uber Eats delivers down here. Yeah, well, that's bad for a start. <laughs> Uber Eats. Oh, Uber Eats is good. Yeah, it's not. It's, good. it's overpriced nonsense. That's true. That's yeah. very true. Yeah. Okay, somebody says, a question for, for, for Norma. Does your ADHD and autism ever contradict each other often? Often. That happens to me every day. It's like two people living inside yeah, me. Is often. it like two people living inside you? Yeah, totally. Inside your two geese? Absolutely. Two two geese. <laughs> one a serious goose that has studied philosophy and mm-hmm. wants to be taken seriously. And the other one is like, I just want to run through the streets honking my head off and having fun. Can we dance? Yes. Yeah, that's what it's like. That's what it's like. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yeah. Oh, my God. I like to, recently you've gotten into video games. Yeah. What's your favorite kind of video game? Um. Well, I like puzzle solving Mm -hmm. i do like ones and i can't do stuff fast so yeah if you're expecting me to run around and do fast stuff that that is true i i I just can't do it Mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. um i i got into uh like (laughs) recently i got into a platform game Mm -hmm. which i found really 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 good yeah you showed me that one yeah it's called uh limbo yes yeah and that's amazing because it's it's puzzle solving and mm-hmm. it's, you don't have to do anything really really fast mm-hmm. and it's dark and it's cool it's a horror it's technically it's a horror yeah. platformer i love it i know you love horror games i do yeah um i, I told everybody i don't like horror games yeah no i do because like... they scare the pants off me yeah but i don't like like fast ones I like, no, no, I like, don't do stuff fast. Yeah, just just mooching around, like <laughs> being scared the shit out of. Yeah, maybe in a, an abandoned asylum or some shit like that. Oh my god! Yeah. See, I think I think that's that's why when we put Crash Bandicoot on, you had that panic hmm. because Crash Bandicoot is very fast and very jumpy hmm. and very like whoop 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 whoop. Whereas I, I know you that. like I know you like to take your time and you I prefer do. the puzzle stuff. I know be- before, way back in the day, I remember when I was little, you used to play a lot of Monkey Island. Yes. That's like a puzzle. Yes, I love a Monkey Island. Mm-mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mist. 
I was Mist. a big fan of Mist in the day. Any kind of game like that where you can just like, it's quiet. You can mooch around and mm. it's like, it's really, uh, yeah, it's good for the soul. Mm-hmm. Solving a puzzle. Yeah. Everyone's going to be like, Norm, I'm gaming channel when? Because they're, like, yeah. they're, like, they're like, her taste is good. Oh yeah. my God. Oh, somebody said, have you ever played Silent Hill? Oh, I don't. I think that was probably like in that middle era when you weren't gaming yeah. as much. Yeah. No, I have heard of it. There was a mm. one that I used to play that I can't remember the name of back in mm. the day, and that was in an abandoned asylum. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was around about the same time as Mr. Monkey Island, mm-hmm. uh, and that was terrifying. All you could hear was like the screams of the inmates in the background. Like, oh God, that sounds awful. I loved it. <laughs> I would play it You're later, like, late at night. Again. I was like late at night, oh reaching around. Yeah. I know. It's so funny, too, because you and Nor Dad are very, 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 very different. Oh, very different. In terms of video game yeah. styles. Though we are both playing Limbo. I know. That's yeah. kind of cool. It's, it is cool. I also think it's cool that you two are playing Untitled Goose Game together. Yeah. Yeah. I have mm. kind of shoehorned him into that, though. Yeah. With a honk. With yeah, a honk. I was like, come he on. just honked it now, and he was like, all right, yeah, I like, guess okay, I'll give okay, it a go. Okay. Oh my god! Because I remember when um, when um, Nor Dad brought the PlayStation into the house, mm-hmm. and he came with um, a PlayStation gun oh. and a bunch of. Do you remember he had all those shooting games? Yeah. Here's the reason we had House I mean, of the I, Dead. I, I do love a House of the Dead. I, I know mean, you do. I'm a big fan of House of the Dead. I know we used to go to arcades and stuff and play that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is my jam. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody asked, "Is the game called Sanitarium?" Yes. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. <laughs> is it a computer game? Yes. Okay. Yeah, right. it was PC. Okay. Hmm. I found a website recently called GOG, and their project is aiming to bring back old games. Ah. So they contact old game developers. Do you know they had Creatures Adventures on there? Oh, wow. Do you remember that? No, yeah, I That's do. a deep cut, that one. That way I old. found it there. I downloaded it. I was How like, old I better are you? have this. Can you remind oh, us? Oh, stop! <laughs> oh, my God. That game came out in the 90s. Jesus. Oh. No, sorry. It was 2001, oh, actually. So old. Actually. Okay, we got another super chat. Thank you so much. A day in a white. A million dollar channel idea, untitled Nor Mum channel. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna start. You're gonna be a YouTuber, Nor yeah, Mum. Totally. Yeah, we're gonna start a podcast. It's just gonna be called. Um... What's YouTube again? <laughs> oh my God! Stop! <laughs> you know what YouTube is. Don't I really explain do. it to you. I do. We, oh, this is it. We'll start a podcast. I actually had a genius name for a podcast the oh, other yeah? day. Yeah, yeah. Called um called At Home with the Normies. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Because sure. and then you just the tagline is anything but normal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a genius. Thank you. you I'll, are, I'll take darling. my flowers now. <laughs> I'm marketing the crap out of this shit. Oh my god. Um. Somebody said time crisis. Oh, I remember time. Do you remember yeah, playing time I crisis? I do. It's too fast. So it's too fast. Your father loved that. I was gonna say dad's into loved that. Loved it. And I was like, it's too fast. It's too fast. Mm-hmm. I can't shoot him fast enough. Mm-hmm. Okay. Somebody has a bit more of a, a different question. Since you talked about creepy, creepy stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, question for Norm, when did you find out that you're a medium and were you scared about it? Oh, look, um, cause, I... oh, sorry for people who don't know, Norm talks to ghosts sometimes. Yes, mm. I do. Mm. I hear dead people. <laughs> I see them too. <laughs> um, I've seen dead people since I was a child, so I know no different. Mm. Um, and yes, it was very scary as a child. Mm. There was a guy on the stairs that I really didn't like when I was going up to bed. Because you guys lived in a haunt. It was a kind of a haunted house? Not really haunted. Well, no, I, I would say it was. No, it mm. wasn't an old house. It was a new build, but um, the house beforehand. Sorry, was... a new build back in like <laughs> it, it, it was... the 70s? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it was a new build when mm-hmm. we bought it in, uh, I think it was 69. Oh, wow. Yeah, before okay. I was born. Mm-hmm. And um, But the house beforehand had been knocked down. And I think um, the old guy that lived there just didn't move on. Um, yeah, used to hang around on the stairs. And in the seventies in the UK, mm-hmm. there was we th- in the early seventies, there we had a, uh, rolling blackouts. So mm. um, there wasn't there was a lot of like um, civil unrest and uh, and you know um, there wasn't enough electricity to go around. So <laughs> that must have been a weird time. I don't when the People lights go off now. I don't I don't, I don't like it. Yeah, we used to have to walk down to the local shop to find out when the electricity would be off, and then you'd have That's to like plan so your day weird. around. Yeah, and it would be off for like three, four hours at a time. Mm. Yeah, and if it was at night time, it was quite scary, yeah. especially with the guy on the stairs. So, yeah, I've always um, heard and seen dead people. Um, yeah. And you still do? I still do. <laughs> I do. And sometimes it manifests in weird stuff happening to your house. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean by that? <laughs> the lights oh, flickering. Yeah. Sure, sure. The doorbell yeah. incident. Uh, I mean, you know. 
Yeah. Uh, if they want to, if they want to, like, get your attention and you're not paying attention, then <laughs> that's what will happen. Now, is that I, your fault? Is that, is that just the general, would that have happened regardless of whether or not you spoke to? I don't know. Spoke, uh, yeah. Okay, Ma- cool. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe <laughs> no. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And have I done a lot of witchy poo stuff in the past? Yeah, sure I have. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, that's. You're like, I own it. Yeah. I own my, my past I... experimenting with things studied astrology from mm-hmm. about the age of 12 mm-hmm. um, to about 18 when I became a professional astrologer and drew up charts and yeah so it's, a, it's like it's in me mm. it's in me mm. I've done a lot of weird stuff yeah yeah I know your claim to fame is you were nearly on a psychic tv show <laughs> I'm actually glad you didn't do okay, it <laughs> yeah. I, know. I, know. Yeah. I think like it would have been weird being a famous like a proper proper famous because you're you're famous to me but ah. it would have been weird to be a proper proper famous I, psychic, I don't I, I don't I just don't think it's for me that's, that's kind of, I, I, I don't think fame is not something I really mm. am interested in and I just don't yeah the autistic side of me is like, oh, don't put your face anywhere near anything. <laughs> uh, well, you can VTube now. You yeah, can be yeah, the, sure, the sure, VTuber sure, psychic. Sure. You could be like John Edwards, but a VTuber, uh-huh. but a goose. Sure. <laughs> like, I hear so and so in the chat, your I granddad's dead, come through. I hear dead geese. <laughs> <laughs> There's All a right, honk from the other side. Hold on. Does anybody have the name M? Someone with the name M mm. in the chat. <laughs> like, Okay, now you're taking the piss. No, I am a little okay, bit. Okay, <laughs> now you are. Now you are. And you should be more I've respectful watched, of, I know I should. of the profesh. What the? What the I actual? I grew up with this, so I should yeah, be. I know. You... Oh, I just want to say thank you, Boom Runner, for resubscribing for one month. Thank you so much. They just subscribed, which means they paid money to be here. Oh, Which is really nice. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> There's some nice people. There are some nice people. There are lots you, of nice people. There are people. lots of nice people on the yeah. internet. I told you not everyone on the internet scary. I didn't say that. <laughs> You just said some people on the internet are scary. Well, that's true. That is true. You some know people right. are scary full stop. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I mm-hmm. mean, you know. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so um, I know you're also, because of, because of I don't know, is it because you you do the psychic stuff that you like haunted houses? <laughs> or is haunted houses, would you, do you think you'd be into it regardless of whether or not you had mediumship well, well, abilities? I, I guess, like, what do you mean into? Well, I know, I know, like... What do you some... think I'm doing? No, I know that every time I mention there's a haunted house, you're like, I want to go there! Yeah, yeah, because, like, <laughs> here's the thing, people mm-hmm. get stuck. That's true. And you, ha- and you have to help them, mm. you know? You can't just leave them stuck. Like, the mm. house we had, remember? That's true. That little girl running up and down the hallway, banging on the doors. I don't remember that, don't... but oh my God. Do you not remember her? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> now I... my whole child has been shaped by, by, by things I didn't realise were going on in the yeah. background. You oh, were no. through a bomb, <laughs> It's true, it's so. true. To be fair, I did sleep with the light on for many, many, many years. When I, I lived moved in that her old house. on. I moved That's her true. on. Mm-hmm. I moved her on. But yeah. still, you've got to help. Mm-hmm. You can't just let them let them be. But I know, I know. Outside of that, you also really are interested in like hauntings. Yeah. Seeing all the kind of the paranormal stuff that goes. Yeah, on. because there's to only be fair, one. You question... should be the paranormal investigator. Only... I don't know what I'm doing here. Well. <laughs> no. There's only one question worth answering. Mm. And that is, what is the nature of reality? Oh, here we and go. I'm serious. That is the only one question. If you mm. answer that question, you, you answer a lot of stuff. So, mm-hmm. yeah, that is, that is what I'm, I'm looking for. I'm mm. looking for the nature of reality. And that's where we get into your mirror. Yeah, my mirror. <laughs> I was telling people about your mirror thing the other day. Are you going to Google the name of the guy? No, I am not. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I was going to be like, Wait, what's going on? It's um, a Cosrev mirror. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, so, so I went over to Norma's house the other day. And um, she pulls me aside. She goes, Norma, I need to talk to you. And I was like, what? And she's like, hey, I need to tell you about this mirror. Maybe Celia could make it for me. And I was like, why? And then you said, because Nordad didn't want anything to do he with it. He didn't want anything to do with <laughs> it. I was like, okay, well, I, okay, I, I, I was like, Oh, what? no. Because I, I used to do a lot of astral projection when I was younger. I trained mm. myself to astral project when I was a child. Mm. And um, this is kind of the next step with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So do you want to explain to people what the what the mirror is and why not Dad won't go near it? I think honestly, I'll tell you, he won't go near it because like he doesn't want to muss up the house with That's like valid. A, yeah, I know because Open it's a, a big structure. Yeah. Oh wait, that. Oh wait, hold on. So this is a literal like space issue. Well, yeah, I think it's a space issue for mm. him because he's like, there's only two ways you can build it: upright or laying down. Okay. Um, and it's like, it, it, you know, it's 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 based on um, you know, the, a, a curve. So you have to have like aluminium and, and it's like a s- whole structure. And he's like, I don't, I don't want that. Where, he said, first thing he said to me was like, where are we going to put it? And That's I was like, true. I don't care. I'm making one. Maybe I'll make it like a garden ornament. And a then garden you, ornament? 
you and then, put it outside? Yeah, and then you're basically sitting there and um, you can... Uh, it, you, you, it's, it's basically uh, remote viewing plus mm. is what I will say. Look at... Ooh, <laughs> I know she does that. She's like, wow. <laughs> it's rather than ghosts, you're used to it. Yeah, so if you want to see the past, the future, anywhere, everything, that's your fella. And yeah, do I want to see it? Yeah, all of it. Do you really? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You're so brave. Like, I'm looking for the nature of reality. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I am. Mm-hmm. I have my suspicions. Oh, and yeah. you want to see if they're true? Yeah, I do. And you want to go in there and be like, I feel so validated right no, now. No, no, it's not about validation. No, mm. it isn't. It isn't. It's about um, truth. I don't mm. believe in belief. Like if somebody says to me, do you believe in something? It's like, well, it doesn't matter whether I believe in something or not. Mm. Does it? Doesn't matter what you believe. Doesn't matter That's what true. I believe. There's truth and there's not truth. Mm-hmm. And I am, I'm looking for the truth mm. in any way I can. And then aliens. Yeah. What about aliens? <laughs> no, I was going to say, I know you're into um, Bigfoot. Yeah. Aliens. Yes. And um, and like I said, haunted haunted stuff. Yeah, I am. Mm-hmm. It's like like I said, you know, people will say, "Do you believe in Bigfoot?" It's like, well, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like, do you believe in dinosaurs? You know, it's like dinosaurs don't need you to believe in them. That's true. Either they are or they aren't. You know, mm-hmm. so there's truth and there's not truth. Mm-hmm. And uh, do I think that um, all these people that have cited Bigfoot are just seeing a bear? You know, do I think that you know all these videos are all fake? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, Because that's dumb, Mm -hmm. you know? And same with aliens. I mean, like, you know, US government has just come out and said, yeah, we don't know what this stuff is. That's true. I saw that clip and I was like, what? I don't know. It's crazy. That's wild. So uh, my gut feeling, and this is my psychic gut feeling, is Mm -hmm. that um, some something's coming. Mm. 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 Um, That sounds very ominous. (laughs) Ominous goose. Oh, no. Goose goose foretells Somebody said, do you like the X-Files? Uh, no, it's you funny. Don't. Yeah, no. Um, I was really? never, never a fan of the X Files. It's funny. Um, it's just it never was my jam. I tell you, I what I really loved as a kid was mm. um, this is really old and it's going to date me so much. Oh no! And it's very UK. Mm. Sapphire and Steel. What's that? It was a program on in the 1970s where Joanna mm. Lumley. I love her. I know she played Sapphire. Okay. And they were like elementals solving <laughs> mysterious and it was okay. so scary was it oh god it was so scary i remember like um being like seven and eight and watching it and probably shouldn't have um mm. because it would like terrify me um but it, oh i love that program it was so brilliant mm-hmm. yeah but now if you look at it it'd be like oh shaky sets and all that <laughs> like Do doctor I- who, like old doctor who yeah yeah have yeah. you heard stories about children hiding behind the couch because old doctor who was too scary and then i saw like one clip of it i was like yeah. why yeah i know because That's weird. Because <laughs> stuff like that was, like, scary in the 70s, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Especially because I think practical effects, too. I mean, I'm not saying they were they were, they were were all great all the time. But, right. like, they were so, pretty good. Practical so, effects. So this is why I think the Patterson-Gimlin movie, mm-hmm. the film of the Bigfoot. Okay. You know the one that walks and then looks over her shoulder? I've actually not seen that. Oh, what? No. Okay. So this was filmed in 1968. Okay. In the States. Okay. Um, by um, Bob uh, Patterson okay. and uh, Gimlin. Mm-hmm. And they were out on their horseback looking for Bigfoot. Okay. And like, they actually? Actually looking for Bigfoot oh. for days and days and days. And then um, literally there she is. And it's a female Bigfoot because you can okay. see her boobies. As she turns. <laughs> you can. Okay. Yeah. All right. And they are proper floppy. <laughs> oh, old, my God. Old Bigfoot boobies. And, um, yeah, so she's walking away and okay. she kind of casually looks over her shoulder like, hey, boys. You know, and um, it's just... Oh, my just, God. Okay, so what, what, I, what my point was, yes. uh, this was filmed in 1968, right? Okay. And when I think of stuff that I used to watch as a kid, it mm-hmm. was so shonky and the special effects were so bad, like the That's Sinbad true. movies and all that, that, that sort of stuff. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. They have never managed to properly debunk this this film. Mm. They have never managed to. Okay. You can see muscles. Okay. And, and, in fact, they have, like, taken this film apart and said oh you can see muscles moving you know and the fact that they it's a female bigfoot you know mm. why you you know and this suit is like i mean it would have to be like the best suit for 68 you've ever seen mm. so that's why i think it's um potentially genuine okay that's yeah. interesting you have to you have to see it i mean i mean think about the context i yeah. mean that does that does feel like yeah it's interesting also everyone um loved the way you said proper big 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 fitties somebody said in the chat proper big fitties yeah there there was yeah (laughs) yeah like proper like like droopy ones you know like like she's fed some big foot bubbers yeah Yeah, she set herself a brood oh my god yeah Yeah, and that's why she wasn't running from those dudes because she's like 
I've had 16 kids. What are you going to do to me? I have a Baywatch moment. Yeah, she's like, what are you going to do to me? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Oh, my God. Okay, so somebody says, um, hi, do you think every place in the world has some kind of haunting phenomena? Not everywhere. You can tell, what right? Do you, what, what, what do you mean every place? Like, I, I not think, every house I does. Think I think they're probably asking, like, is it is it in every house or is it no. just in some places? No. Here's the thing. Look, you can get, like, hauntings attached to land. Mm. You know, where, where big battles have happened. Yeah. Land is, 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 is you know, I mean, a lot of the states have, have problems because of the Civil War and the, mm. you know... Lots of things like that. Or, or you can get houses, that like spirits that are attached to houses that don't want to leave, mm. you know. Um, and also you, you've got ley lines as well, which is energy that, that travels all over the world. That can also bring things to you because mm. energy can travel along those ley lines. Because I once lived in a house, a flat, that had a ley line running through it. Oh, really? And although the flat itself wasn't haunted, mm. from time to time debris would just come in and it was just horrendous. Really? It was busy, busy, busy the whole time. Yeah. How do you know where the ley lines are, though? Like, how there, do there's you maps. know? Oh, there's, there's maps. maps. Oh, yeah. Oh, people yeah. map this out. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. You can go online mm-hmm. and find out where they are. Mm. Um, they go through, they're like the, um, the Michael, there's a Michael line. That's the big one. Mm. And that goes through Mont Saint-Michel in France. You know, the one on the island. Oh, Mont Saint-Michel. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And it goes through a lot of, a lot of churches were built on ley lines. Really? Um, yeah, because. Is that on purpose or yeah, is that? Yeah. Oh. Well, no, it is because when Christianity happened, um, they built their churches on uh, pagan sites. Oh, okay. So the original pagan sites are the ones mm-hmm. that were built on ley lines. Oh, because they were like, oh, we know about they're, this. They're oh, interesting. Like, yeah, and so the Christians came along and said, well, actually, we'll just co-opt this and build our churches there. Yeah, somebody just asked, is there a place of historical significance on their lines? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. In the Certainly in older, well, well um, I suppose countries that have older buildings mm. that have stood the test of time, mm-hmm. i.e. brick ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting, too, because I remember when we used to do a lot of theatre. Mm. A lot of theatres are haunted. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I feel like all theatres are haunted. I, all I, I don't know why. Mm-hmm. I, I just have never been in a theatre that I haven't gone, whoa, it's a bit weird. Yeah, that's here. true. Not just I, not one. I remember there's a there's a theatre, obviously in Redacted, there's a theatre. Yes. And um, <laughs> and I remember I was in there by myself. I did not want to go in there by myself. No. Because it was really scary. Yeah. It was very scary. Yeah. And not just because of the Scottish play, no. No. <laughs> Much worse than that. Um, we went in there and literally you could hear like footsteps in the daytime. Yeah. In the day. Cheeky, it was so beaky dark. bastards. And you could hear footsteps. Haunting I remember one time I was doing a, I was doing a show and my na- nan was there and she was doing costumes for the show. So she was washing some costumes and next minute we just hear footsteps all over the place so loudly and no one else was there. And this, this theater is not like a two story theater. It's a single story theater. So I was like, there's no way that someone's just walking over us. Like, it's, it's some, something is definitely walking around. But every time we looked, no, nothing was there. I was like, what is going on? Get on the stage, so do some tap dancing, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Show us what you made of. Maybe it was the Phantom of the Opera. Maybe uh, it was. Who knows? who knows? I don't know. I don't know. It's always in the basement, though, isn't it? It's always in the basement. I, I feel like the closer you get... The basements are always the creepiest, too. Yeah, yeah. I feel like... Unlike this basement. This basement's fine. It's only got a couple of ghosts. And I, at least I know them by name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember they had something called what well, they call it the cage, not the cage, the crypt, the crypt. Yeah, where they put the props. Yeah, down in the basement. Yeah. Oh my god. I feel like it's the lack of sunlight. Yeah. You know, sunlight cleanses. You know, it takes mm-hmm. away bad vibes, bad energy, and mm-hmm. you know, and 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 basements very often don't see, you know, daylight. It's Plus, true. I, I feel. I like, fucking hate daylight. I daylight. Like, I feel like you've got to look at it from a you know, a ghost perspective. So oh, like, okay. So, like, so if think I, like a ghost. Yeah. Mm. So if I was haunting somewhere, mm-hmm. you know, I would go somewhere where people aren't. Mm. You know, uh, this would be my go-to place. And where you're going to go? Attic, basement. <laughs> okay. Attic, basement. Mm-hmm. You're going to hang out in there. They're all going to go to bed. Then you're mm. going to rumble around. Oh, yeah, I see. Then I see. you're going to, yeah, yeah. And then you're going to go some back. shit around. Yeah, so Move that's why, furniture. that's why when they go down the basement, they're like, oh, shit. You're like, yeah, because that's where they're hanging out. Mm-hmm. That's their thing. I know it's like how you said, if you don't go into a room enough, it gets yeah, vibes. It does. <laughs> shit gets weird. Shit gets weird. Yeah. I know we've tried to use our spare room a lot because yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't want this to get weird. Got to take the chi in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. Okay, somebody says, 
Um, do you like James Bond movies? I know we're not. Yeah, big, yeah. Oh, no. you do? I do because um, Granddad was very into uh, <laughs> James Bond, so I kind of grew up on that. I yeah, know. for some reason, I don't know. He, he thought himself as a spy. I, I don't know. I don't know. autism. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, he was like patient zero of the yeah. autism. We found him. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. We got him now. Yeah, we got him, boys. So yeah, I watched a lot of Bond movies. Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot of sexism was pumped into my brain. <laughs> that and Carry On movies. So oh, like, no. uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Why, They've I'm not aged not, well. No, no, Didn't no. they get cancelled in 2020? No. Yes, because <laughs> they they're did. like, oh, no, we can't do this anymore. No. no. Like Gone with the Wind, that got cancelled too. Uh. I know. Mm -mm. Mm. Okay. Somebody said, need to update them ghost lights in the theatre. It's true. They always need to update those, those ghost lights. <laughs> Somebody said, everyone behave for Nor Norma's mom. Everyone's behaving for Norma. Oh, you guys are being very nice. I, I barely see any shade in the chat. No shade. No shade at all today. Wow. Just goose. We'll get burned in the sun with no shade. Oh, uh, no, it's true. <laughs> Don't worry, there's no sunlight in here. It's fine. That's true. It's fine. I was telling everybody on my first stream, I was like, ah, oh, I hate the sunlight. Fuck the sun. And everyone gasped. Yeah, no, <laughs> she's like, she hates it. <laughs> oh, she hates the it. irony. Yeah. All sunny, no shade. Um, Somebody said, oh, I'm in the middle of trying to get rid of the spirits in my house currently. Oh, nice. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. What are you using? What are you using? I've almost finished the last bottle of rum, then I'll move on to the whiskey. Oh, uh, okay. I see, so I see, I see. I walked into that. Whoa. You stepped into that Can one. You no, you can't okay. say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. The I goose didn't. branding only goes I so didn't. far, mum. I Mom. know. Yeah, but that's not my fault. That was co-opted. If a dictator co-opts that, that is not my fault. No. <laughs> you can't have you anything like kind without of anything some fascist coming along <laughs> and co-opting it. <laughs> do you love that you say some really smart stuff and, and I, all I can imagine is the one clip I'm going to see on Twitter later is you talking about Bigfoot titties yeah and yeah. everyone's like right. do you remember the time that no right. mom was talking That's about right. Bigfoot titties yeah oh um, thank you so much Hyper Epsilon thank you for the super chat Untitled Goose Game Collab when um, when I get a bigger basement when I get bigger spec, because this is too small, <laughs> like, you yeah, can barely I can't see even the spread my wings in here. <laughs> she can't spread I cannot. her wings in I here. I cannot. No. So I think once we get a bigger basement um, with some more space where you can actually see the screen, I think then we can do an Untitled Goose Game collab. Because I, I think it'd be fun. Yeah. Um, you want to see a drive by honking. Yeah. <laughs> I think you get the it. ghosties really want to see a drive by honking. You do. I think they imagine it in their brain and they're like, oh, it's going to be better it's when better. I see it. It's better in than person. That. Imagine it, but it's better. <laughs> it's better. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, dear. Waddled into that one. No. Ah. It's not her fault. It's not her fault. The geese are taking it back. The geese are taking it back, apparently. <laughs> yes. I don't think, I don't think, yes. I don't think we can go there, though. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, where's the li where's the line? Where's the line? There's no line with ADHD. That's the problem, I yeah. think, half the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. Feel free. To oh, now they're sharing puns in one of the chats. Really? <laughs> really? You come to a fucking live stream and you share puns in the chat. Wow. Okay, I see. I see how this goes. I see how this goes. Okay. So, here's the big question. Ooh. What's your favorite ghost show? On TV right now. Oh, what's my favorite ghost yeah, show? You, okay, so if people don't know, Norma Ooh. watches like every ghost show, every including paranormal. the one with Kesha in it. No, 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 no. I, I, I didn't, I didn't actually watch all that season because oh, that, okay, that's I just see. silly. It's oh, just was silly. it? No, no, no. I, I like, I take. Did you not hear about the time that Kesha fucked a ghost? Oh god. Oh no, no, yeah, no. She wrote that, a song about it. No, no, I covered that, it. That I is did a thing. cover of that no, song. No, that that is a thing. Yeah. Right. So that is a thing. Incubus, succubus. That yeah, shit yeah. is a thing. But yeah. it's not something that you really want to get into. Well, I, I don't think so. No. Oh, oh, there was a woman I read about not mm. long ago who married a ghost. Really? Yeah, yeah. How did I mean, that go down? Well, I don't know. Are you I sure know. that they were at the wedding? Well, no, but that's what she said. She said like she was marrying this ghost because he was such a good lover. Oh. I was like, yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah, but how, but how, is that that's not recognised, surely? Well, not legally. I was going to say I mean, say like, like, like what, what? You know, mm -hmm. how how would it even be a legal thing? I mean, it's I like what know. she's going to die and leave her stuff to him. I mean, what, how do you like, put the ring on that? Yeah, I know. Like... That's right. What do you? Uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, how that's just. How do you kiss the bride? Well, well apparently, I mean, apparently, 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 apparently he's can, a great kisser. Apparently he is a great lover. So <laughs> I imagine some kissing maybe went on. I, I don't know. I, I, yeah. We just don't know about this the, the other a, stuff. This is a thing. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I don't know. I'd be suspicious that that was some sort of demonic stuff in disguise. Mm. So, yeah. 
Yeah. Because there's differences. There's yeah. differences between ghosts and demons, right? Oh, totally. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. somebody in the chat said those aren't ghosts, they are demons, though. Incubus, succubus, yeah. yeah. They're mm-hmm. part of the demonic entities. They are. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, someone said, did she marry cats with a friendly ghost? I hope the ghost is friendly. Otherwise, yeah. whoo, that would be not very there are, fun. There are friendly ghosts. Mm-hmm. And there are not so friendly spirits. Okay, so if someone's gonna watch um, ghost shows. What's what's the what's the best the best ghost shows? I know you were into that Twenty Eight Days Haunted. Oh, I love that. I wish they'd make mm. another season. Yeah, I thought that was great. Oh, they do have another Netflix series that's just mm. come out, which I'll be watching today, and that's okay. called I think Unexplained, mm. and it's a documentary style. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna yeah, this is my jam. Um, mm-hmm. I liked um, what did um, my favorite is um, Expedition Bigfoot. I love that program. Mm-hmm. I'm just hanging out for another season. And um, uh, Secret of Skinwalker Ranch. That's oh, got to yeah. be my absolute favorite. I mean, mm-hmm. this is this is not ghosties. Well, mm-hmm. it kind of is because there's everything at, at Skinwalker. Mm-hmm. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, somebody wants to know. I know I know. this is probably a bit triggering for you, Norm. Mum. Okay, Mum. Uh, have you watched the internet ghost shows? Like the ones run by Ryan Bergara and Shane. You know, oh, yeah. um, what's it called? Yeah. The one, the Buzz, BuzzFeed, BuzzFeed Unsolved. Yeah, I don't mind How did em. you feel about, I know, I remember I sent it to you once because they... I'm a big BuzzFeed Unsolved fan. Like, I like the show. I, however, did have a problem with how rude they were to some of the ghosts. Yeah. Like, they had an episode where they saw Annabelle and they basically went up to her and was like, uh, saying all this horrible stuff to her. And yeah. I was like, that is dangerous. Yeah. So I didn't like that. Yeah. But I, I, then I sent it to you and I know you had some feelings. Yeah, they're not serious. Mm-hmm. They're, yeah, they're no. just a pair of silly boys. <laughs> and, yeah, um, that's yeah. true. That's Look, true. I, that's like their, I like their, like, I like their uh, crime, like when they were doing the crime like, stuff. Was yeah, great. the crime stuff was amazing because mm-hmm. I, I really like that. That's mm-hmm. that's very interesting. I mean, th- it started as a crime show because Unsolved was. I th- I'm yeah. pretty certain Unsolved was supposed to be yeah, a true crime. I would say podcasty, yeah. like ten minutes. And then they a went and segued into something they didn't into know ghost shit about. Hunting, yeah, yeah, which yeah. But shout out to uh, Destination Fear. Destination Fear. Yeah. What is that? So Destination Fear mm-hmm. is well, it used to be on the television, and now it's just online because of is some, it on YouTube? Some shenanigans. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's on YouTube. Okay. Um, it's called Project Fear on YouTube, mm-hmm. and uh, basically it's a uh, brother and sister and their couple of mates, and they're in their twenties, and they are serious uh, ghost hunters though. Oh, wow. But it's it's all it's fun. Um, th- they are just yeah, I I I, I like them. They're good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, if do you have any since I know you got a little bit of experience with mm-hmm. obviously not dealing with like proper proper haunting haunting stuff. I what mean, do well, you? I, I do. Yeah, I mean you've you've explored some stuff, and I know you've oh, yeah. helped people in the past. Yeah, like like take stuff out of the house and things. Yes, and you've taken things out of several houses that we've had. Yes. Um, I was gonna say there are some VTubers right now who are going out and doing ghost hunting and ghost exploration yeah. for themselves. Do you have any tips and tips for them to a keep themselves safe and be like i don't know stuff that you would suggest that they they look at or do in terms of what keeping themselves safe well yeah and also like i guess being respectful to the ghosts well look i just don't think you should be disrespectful Mm -hmm. i mean look it's got to be fun i guess it's a trend right now yeah so there's a trend of of people and and some vtubers going out and exploring hauntings look if you Mm. if you poke a a demon's nest Mm -hmm. you you could have years of problems yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I would always protect yourself before you go in. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, you know, spirits are human. So yeah. treat them with respect. And if they, mm-hmm. you know, I, I'm a great advocate. I just don't think enough ghost hunting uh, crews have a medium on board. Oh, okay. So you yeah. suggest they, they find a medium? Well, I just, I think it's a good thing to have, mm-hmm. um, to have that, you know, level of um, communication. Mm-hmm. Like I'm a big fan of mediums like Cindy Kayser, mm-hmm. um, you know, that sort of go into these hauntings and, you know, they can, they can help rather than hinder. Yeah. There's a UK series called Help My House is Haunted. I'm oh, very really? fond of that. Okay. Yeah. So what do they do on that? They just go and take, take the, take the, the ghosts away? Yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. Well, they, they help. Um, and um, the um, medium that they take around with them, Ian, is an exorcist as well. Oh, he's wow. He's an ordained okay. minister and an mm-hmm. exorcist. He's also from Yorkshire. Which is like, <laughs> he's like the Yorkshire. Oh, so is it? Is it, is, it, is half of it's like, oh, he's really good at what he does, and half of it's, oh, the accent's quite fun. Oh, no, no, he's cool. He's really <laughs> cool as well. He's like the coolest dude you will ever see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like, so it's ghost hunting from a scientific point of view, but also. Mm. Um, so it's like, you, you've really got that. And they do celebrity help my house is haunted too, which oh, is really? like. Oh, really? Yeah, they did the oh, Chuckle wow. Brothers. 
the chuckle brothers, the brothers. now yeah. that yeah. that is a i know it's something oh you want to see you want to see that don't you <laughs> you do want to see that it's like to me to yeah. you too oh my uh, god i'm being haunted yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah so yeah i i, I like that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody said, I remember old ghost shows have mediums in the beginning of the episode. It's time for a comeback. Yeah. Yeah, because they don't all have mediums go with them these days, do they? No, no. Sometimes Most of them just... don't. They don't. What's they... the one that you're telling me about with the, the boys, the southern boys? Oh, um, you're talking about the... The southern guys, the big southern guys with beards all go and... Oh, and... That, that, was, uh, that was years ago. That <laughs> was, was like Ghost Asylum. Are yeah. you talking about? Yeah, yeah, I think so. One of the guys in that had autism, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, but they used to build, yeah. like, machines to trap ghosts. It, was, it got a bit, like... <laughs> got a bit ghost hunting. Yeah, it ghost, got a bit, like, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah, it did. It was like, I'm going to build a... Yeah, that's a terrible accent. But... <laughs> it's okay. Uh, but it's like they were building, like, a ca- like a Faraday cage oh and my things God. like that. Like to... Yeah, but... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe you can trap a ghost. I don't know, but why would you? Mm-hmm. Why would you? Ghost yeah, are, ghosts are people too. Yeah, okay. So, so big tip is if you're going out ghost hunting, find yourself a local medium. It will help. Yeah, because mm. it's easy to get um, like influenced, really, by a demon, mm. and mediums tend to see it coming more. Okay, because they, well, they've got that. Well, they got the the, yeah. the gift. Yeah, the sight. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm. Yeah, I know. I know a lot of um the stuff I've seen online, especially with like people who obviously don't do ghost hunting and then they're like i'm gonna go ghost hunting i get it always get a bit like oh it's like a few years ago there was a trend of people doing tarot streams oh really here on twitch okay. yeah mm. obviously we're streaming on both youtube and twitch today but people got really got into there's a whole tarot category now okay. for tarot we probably should have jumped in there but, today but what are they doing what are they <laughs> they're what doing are they? tarot for they're what doing, for, Just for any... people in the chat oh okay mm-hmm. oh yeah mm-hmm. But again, I have mixed feelings about it. And this is just me. And obviously I'm not here to read anyone. I'm not mm. here to like say mm. you shouldn't or you should or you, you you do whatever you want to do. By the end of the day, I don't know. I have some feelings about it because I'm just like, uh... In what way? Well, no, if people don't know what they're doing. Oh, yeah. And then just start buying, I mean, look, a, buying a deck of tarot, tarot cards. I mean, you don't I mean, know what could go down. Yeah, anything is dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Though. That's I true. Mean, do you know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. like anything. So, yeah, just... Yeah, um, yeah I mean, that's why I'm a seeker of truth. Because yeah. if you, the more you know, the more you're armed. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> People think you're a duck. You're not a duck. You're a goose. goose. This is this is normal, mum. She's my mum. This is my mum. My mum's a goose. Honk. We're not sure why. <laughs> not quack. Honk. <laughs> not quack. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. Do no. not quack. Do it's not. honk only. Honk. Duck is a goose. Exactly. We don't like ducks. Ducks <laughs> are not. Wait, are we anti-duck? Oh yeah. I had no idea we were an anti-duck. Always... Oh yeah, totally. Who would have a duck as a familiar? <laughs> Yeah. So that's the name of the podcast. No ducks allowed. Yeah, no ducks <laughs> no allowed. Ducks al- no ducks given. Geese only. Oh, geese. no ducks given. I like that. Only geese. Only geese. Yeah. Oh my god. Norma's about to start her only geese account. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. But yeah, I, I don't know. I find it. I find it really interesting. I'm. I'm really glad people are getting more and more into the the paranormal stuff because obviously it's an interesting thing for people to be looking into. But yeah, I guess because I grew up with it, right? Yeah. I'm like on the fence about everything. I, I'm a little skeptical well, about stuff. I know. You, it's hard to be skeptical though when you see lights flickering and hear doorbells well, ringing all the time. Look, at the end of the day, you have mm. experiences and then you go, That's okay, you, you, you put them where you put them in your mm, head and then mm. you, yeah, like I said, it mm-hmm. doesn't matter what you believe. It yeah. doesn't matter what I believe. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's very true. There's truth and yeah, there's yeah, not yeah. truth. Okay. And I, th- I think though now it's getting more popular online. I'm just like... I don't know. I see. I see people just going out and, and messing around, and I'm just like, oh, yeah. I wish people would treat it with a bit more respect. Do not mess with a Ouija board. No. If you do not want. <laughs> no. <laughs> do not mess do with not. that. If you don't know what you're doing, just don't bring one into the house and go, hey, let's play with this shit. It's not a toy. Yeah, because wasn't it, wasn't it originally advertised as a toy? Though? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. In the in the like the 70s and 60s, you could just buy this at a toy store. Are you go serious? Go home and yeah, you could. <laughs> That's crazy. You go crazy. home. It was like a parlor game in Victorian England. Yes. You know they used to bring out the old planchette and <laughs> sit around with candlelight could you imagine you're like to the other side i'm bored darling shall we get out the ouija oh, no, board but the victorians were really into spirit communication mm-hmm. in all sorts of forms so mm-hmm. yeah that was just the next the next step but mm-hmm. yeah in the, in the in the like 60s and 70s it became mm-hmm. like a kid's game it's like happy christmas kids here's your ouija, here's board. Your ouija board here's your ouija board go up to your room and, no. and contact the dad that's because so people bad. were like, this is nothing. Do you miss grandma? Well, don't worry. Here's, <laughs> I don't, I don't think, now. I don't think, here's the weird thing, right? Mm. I don't think people actually thought 
that it was it would work. Yeah. You know, and, and so but then again They didn't take what, it seriously. But, but then again, right, okay, what's the gain? If like if like <laughs> if it's not real, what yeah, what, what are true. you giving it to the kid for? That's it's true. like it's like, oh, you're gonna play at Ouija boards. Well, what even game is that if it doesn't work? We're it's pretending like, to summon yeah, spirits. Yeah, me and Johnny are just gonna push Meanwhile we're just gonna push this thing around <laughs> um and like like talk smack about each other mm-hmm. via the Ouija board. Because I just said I remember seeing ads for that game in the eighties and nineties. Yeah, really? So yeah. it went that long? From no. like seventies, eighties, nineties wow. Yeah. That's what do they don't sell it as a toy today though, do they? You can't you can't just go and buy a Ouija board. Yeah, you can go online if you put can Ouija you? board. Yeah, yeah. Oh you, my god. You could buy one now. Oh, well from, let's not do that. From Amazon. <laughs> we, you can we buy gonna, we're yeah. gonna hold on, I'm gonna open a throne account and I'll yeah. be like, My chat bought me a Ouija board. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. But uh, even having it in the house is not a great no. idea if you don't know what you're doing. No. No. There you go. So don't buy a we unless you know what you're doing. No. Get a trained medium's no. approval. No? No. Just don't do it. I, I wouldn't. Mm-hmm. I just wouldn't. That's fair. I mean look. I have, yeah. But oh, you're you're missing to contraband. You're like, well, I have as a as a child dabbled, <laughs> but not but not like with the game. Mm-hmm. I mean, you get a glass and your mates and some letters and <laughs> oh do all that. Is sort that of what stuff. you guys did on Friday night? Was Friday night? No, no internet, so you got out the Ouija oh, yeah, board. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, when the lights went out in the seventies, mm. that's what we did. No, no, no. I say that would but be I, terrifying. You know, when you're like a kid, when you're in your teens, mm. you're like you and your mates are like, hey, should we make a a Ouija board with some glasses. Do on. they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never did that. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Maybe it's a different era. Maybe, Maybe like the 2000s were a different time. Maybe. But in the 2000s, we weren't just sitting around going, shall we do a Ouija board, guys? No. Yeah. I knew a friend who wanted to. You had more TV. That, you had more TV. That's true. Yeah. We had video games you did. too. See? And we're talking like um, early 80s. Mm. So, yeah. Or well, like... TV turned off then, didn't it? Well, yeah, it did. It, it did. stopped at like it, it did, midnight. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, and there was no uh, daytime TV until like eighty two. That's so weird. Well, there was, but it was like at lunchtime, mm-hmm. and that, or or there was like like um, educational programming where mm-hmm. a guy stood in front of a blackboard and wrote questions <laughs> well, on like, it. Hold on, it did, so honestly. educational program that wasn't wasn't Sesame Street. No, it was way above your head. <laughs> oh, like God. if you stayed home sick and mm-hmm. you had the telly on, it was like mm-hmm. some guy standing in front of a blackboard <laughs> in the seventies no. telling you about equations, and you were like, oh my God, who even understands this shit? If I watched <laughs> it now, I'd be like. Wow, I can't even. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's like university level. Oh my like god! Like PhD, like astrophysics. Wait, for five being year taught. olds. Yeah, it's like you're okay. like here's algebra yeah. 101 for five year olds. But it wasn't algebra. It was like, like astrophysics. It was. Eggs. It was like they were. They were like it was life, the universe, and oh everything solved in an equation. That's wild. Yeah. I was like. <laughs> You you had honestly oh there was God. there was no need to be sick in the seventies and stay home from school. <laughs> you're, you're like, like I'd no, rather go to school. No. You're like coughing. I'm like I'd rather really go. sick, but honestly, send me to school. Yeah, you're like I'm so oh bored. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my, I couldn't deal with that. That would be awful. Yeah, yeah, oh and even God. the kids' programs that they put on at lunchtime. I mean, like finger bobs. What the fuck is finger bobs? Have you have you never seen no? finger bobs? What the fuck is okay. that? So it's some old Russian guy. Okay. And he puts on like a glove. Oh no! Okay. And one of, one of the fingers mm-hmm. is a scampi. It's a what? Scampi. Like a, a scampi. Like a prawn. Okay, right. Okay, yeah. yep. Yeah, and that's that's what it is. And it, and he does puts on another glove and it's like a crab. And then that's this the scampi <laughs> doesn't talk. The scampi doesn't talk. Okay, yeah. so what does it do? Uh, it, it just like has little adventures. Like, but you see his face, his beardy Russian <laughs> face. Yeah. It's like, and I there was a whole theme tune with the it. Russian, what? But yeah, but, there, okay. but I remember Russian right. because they like told you his name, and it was like Yakult or something, you know. And he put, <laughs> and there was a whole like theme tune. It was like Yakult puts a glove on, oh and he no. becomes a scampi, and oh the scampi God. has adventures, and you're like, even even oh at like man. five, I was like, what is this shit? I thought I what, thought what I is thought, this shit? I thought some of the stuff that I watched was nah. disturbing. That nah, nah. sounds that, that bad. That was like yeah, that oh, was that no. was bad. There was there was quite a lot of. Um, to be fair, you made me watch. What was that one about? About the dog, Dougal. Oh, what the magic roundabout? Magic roundabout. You yeah, made me that watch was, that. Yeah, but that was cool because it was that was tripping. terrifying. Was no, tripping. it was fucking terrifying. That was a movie. Dougal and the Blue Cat. Traumatized. Yeah, that is a scary movie. Traumatized. It was. It's when the dream machine goes down the corridor. No, and don't. And chasing Dougal. No, don't. And he's don't. trying to get away from the dream Stop. machine. Stop. I was telling everybody the other day too about Mr. Blobby. Mr. Blobby. And how you traumatized my entire childhood well, by I making didn't mean it. To. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know you were so like you know. It's not just me. It's an entire generation really, of children. Though? Really? No, there. 
Victoria is entire I mean, generation it's clearly of 90s somebody British in a costume, children. is it not? Clearly. I mean, clearly. clearly. But all he says is blobby, blobby, and it's terrifying. I mean, look at that guy. He's so violent as well. He's tearing shit apart. Blobby's he's an pushing asshole. People. He is an asshole. Yeah. He's pushing shit over. He's he's like, he's fucking hurting people. Yeah. And himself. Yeah. He's ruining people's uh, relationships. He's a dick. <laughs> It's just awful. So you didn't enjoy your visit to Blobbyland? No, I, did. I told oh, everyone okay. about it yesterday, okay. actually. Okay. I was like, you know what? I did a live stream. No, it was the other night. I did a live yeah. stream and I said, my whole thing was, I was talking to my friend Kamori because they, they are a theme park nerd too. Uh, and we were chatting and chatting. This was a theme park. No, no, no. I know. Let's not, let's not I, put it up I know. there. And then they said to me, Oh, Norman, did you know I've been to I've been to Crinkly Bottom? Yeah. And I went, Oh, I wish I'd gone. That sounds awful. And yes. then I spoke to you the next day and you were like, No, we went. And I was like, So I've literally blocked this memory. Yeah. Out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, think I was half, so traumatized. No, but I, I just think, blocked it out. I think half because it was so shit. Probably. You, know, you were like you were like, Oh, this is embarrassing that my mother even <laughs> took me there. So yeah. And there's no photos of us. I've no. not seen a there single was, photo. There, there was of no us photo ops. Really it was so shit. No, but you didn't even take a camera. Like we did, we've got no. no. Well, I've got photos of I everything did. that's ever happened to me, except for this. Well, <laughs> like I said, the camera was there. Mm-hmm. I just chose not to turn it on. Yes. Yeah. You were just like, never mind. I'm gonna waste yeah. film on this. Yeah. You were like, <laughs> well, even I was like, oh, this is shit. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. No, Mr. Blobby is is bad. It closed soon afterwards. Did it really? It did. Wasn't it open that long? No. Wow. Because it was okay. shit. People really didn't want to meet Mr. Blobby that badly. No. Yeah, that's fair. And, and the rides they had. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Was it bad? Yeah. Not even, even as good as the shit. Tinkaboo Factory. Oh, don't. I knew you were going to bring that up at some point. Not even as good as the Tinkaboo okay, Factory. Okay. So, so, so now you've got to explain to people what the Tinkaboo Factory is. Oh. So they can go. People don't know. Oh, okay. I tried to explain this to my friend Kamori. I don't even Kamori know, didn't even know. Don't even know what the theme park's called. But it's oh, near. it's yeah. near Grimsby. In England, I'm gonna Google it. And there, and and there is a there is a song that goes with it, and it's like it's awful. And the Tinkaboo Factory, Tinkaboo Factory ride. And it, Do you and know it's still open? And it, I know it is. It <laughs> is crazy. And in this factory, they make lollies. Pleasure Island in Cleethorpes. That's it. Mm. Cleethorpes is is like adjacent to okay. Grimsby. Okay. Like. Like it's the seaside resort. I also love that I like Google Tinkaboo Factory. There's there. literally there. four. No, there's four things that come up on the entirety of Google. Yeah. Four things. That's how popular this ride is. Yeah. <laughs> Very not. Yeah. Yeah. But Crinkly Bottom was worse. Oh no, sorry. It closed in 2016. Oh, okay. Disappointing. Oh. But you can still watch the video you on can. YouTube. You can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So you can you can still look at the video on YouTube and go, wow, that was shit. And and if you listen carefully, mm. the theme tune is sung in a Grimsby accent. Is it really? It really is. What is a Grimsby accent? It's though? very nasal. Oh my god. Right. Yeah right. Yeah right. <laughs> oh my god. That's Grimsby. I love that you can in the UK yeah, right. you can drive like five minutes down ten the minutes. road. Is it ten minutes? It's ten, ten minutes. minutes down the road. They they actually did a thing where they really? were like, oh, it changes. Yeah. As in as little as ten minutes, ten an minutes. accent. Yeah, that's so wild. And there's like the weird thing as well mm-hmm. is there's people living in Scotland okay. that have like a Geordie accent. How? Because they're on the border, but they're actually in Scotland. But they've that's got like so a, weird. I know. Same with Wales. Mm-hmm. You know, have you seen um the what's that one called the uh, the the football program, um that Ryan Reynolds the t te- the fo- the football team that the Ryan football. Reynolds and uh, what's his face own. The one on the border of Wales? No, I haven't heard of that. It's called Oh god, it's on Disney. The uh the oh, Rexham. Rexham. Somebody just said Rexham. Rexham. Okay, so Wrexham is kind of on the border of England Wales and, okay. and it's, they do not have a Welsh accent. In do Rexham. They? No, they sound it they sound English. Mm-hmm. But they're like Welsh till we die, but sounding English. <laughs> it's just odd. It's really odd. It's so weird. It is weird. It's so weird. I just love how many British accents there are. So many. There's literally like millions of them. And they're all fun. <laughs> <laughs> They're all so much fun. Okay, but which are your f- top five? <laughs> uh, I would say Dorset is one of my. No. Oh, you've got a brand new combine. How do we not sound like that? <laughs> I don't know. So hard. I don't know. Five five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> um, Geordie is a great accent. Oh, the Geordies have a great yeah, accent. I used to watch Geordie Shaw. Why I? Why I? <laughs> what is it? Oh, the, what they used to say. They used to have like a fun phrase. Get immortal. Oh, oh yeah. we're getting mortal. No, that is not Georgie. Great. Accent. The no, only thing not. I can say in Geordie is why I. Yeah. Why I? <laughs> it's 
it's great. <laughs> it's so great. I know you were a big fan of the Liverpool accent. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, gotta love Liverpool. Liverpool. I love every That's Beatles. That's all I can say in a Liverpool ah! accent. Is I love every Liverpool. What is it, every Beatles interview ever when they finally open their mouths to talk and then you hear that and you're like, what is going on? It's Liverpool. That is so bad, yeah, though. I love Liverpool. Because you're like, you're like, you hear them singing, you're like, oh, this is lovely. Oh, my God, their songs are so great. The next minute they're talking, you're like, what the fuck? All right. Okay. I do remember in the 90s how the Manchester accent was mm-hmm. really, really big. Because really? Of, because of Manchester. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ma- Man U. No, Manchester. Manchester? What's Manchester? It was when like all of the Manchester bands became really popular in the 90s. Oh, and with like, the Oasis Britpop thing. and Britpop. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, they called it Manchester because they were like, I haven't at it, mad. <laughs> they just mad for it because oh of the God. Manchester. And that was, uh, yeah, it was super popular in the 90s. Oh, yeah. That and Ladettes. Ladettes. From Manchester Ladettes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is that when you, I've like, at it. where you just dressed up like a dude and you're like, I don't That's care. It. Well, it was Going like. down the I, pub. Yeah, it was drinking dudes under the table. <laughs> I was wearing, it was basically mm-hmm. two things. One, wearing low-rise jeans with thongs. Oh. Poking above the back. Love that. Yeah. Uh, football shirt. Okay. And drinking men shirt. under the table. Okay. Well, boys. Boys. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, now I've been at it. Oh my god, um, you're not a big fan of football, though, despite being British. Oh, uh, uh, no, not really. I mean, I'm no. not like a watch. I did watch the Wrexham um, mm-hmm. uh, TV series because that was just I just love an underdog. Oh yeah, okay. And I, I do see. love Ted Lasso. Oh okay. my god, I've just got into Ted Lasso. The on, TV show? Yeah, mm-hmm. on Apple, and it's just I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because somebody was saying, um, do you have a favourite football team if you like football? But we're not like a big football family. Not really. No. We're not the kind of people, too, who watch a lot of sports, except for my dad. He loves rugby so much. But, like... He doesn't watch it. Hardly watches it. Wow, these days. Your brother watches busy. it. Does he really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm. oh, my God. Thank you so much, Chase, for gifting a sub. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, question for Norm. Cream or jam first on scones? Oh, I'm Cornish, so it's very important come on to now. me. Come on now, do not be a philistine. Jam first, then cream. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. Jam first, then cream. I mean, look, I mean fair the, enough. Here's yeah. the thing. This is this is my philosophy, right? Yeah. If you're gonna put your cream on first and your jam on the top, that jam is gonna sink through the That's cream true. and go to the bottom anyway. So you yeah. know. Also, you, yeah. you're gonna have to do like the tiniest bit of jam, right? Because if you put too yeah. much jam on, then it's gonna get weird. And you do not want a tiny bit of jam. You want no. a sli- you want like a like a whole <laughs> spoonful. I remember the last time you made scones and there was so much cream that yes. you, it has to like go everywhere. Yes. Yeah, you mm-hmm. do, you do. Oh, I miss clotted cream. Do you? Yeah. Do you not get it here? No. Isn't it just thickened cream? No. What is it then? It is the most delightful thing you'll ever eat in your life. Okay. And afterwards you may have like, you know, a heart attack from the <laughs> amount of <laughs> okay. fat in clotted attack, cream. But is it worth it? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Yes. When you go down to Dorset and have your clotted <laughs> cream tea. Oh my God. And your combine so, so, so what's the difference between that and thickened cream then? Like, like um, even thickened cream is like really weak as compared to clotted. It's clotted so is like weak. It's no, very thick. Cl- let's put it this way: clotted cream is like a yellowy color. Okay, it's like a yellowy Why? color. I don't know. I don't know what. That's they... concerning. No, no, it's not concerning. It's delicious. <laughs> I guarantee you, you'd be like, I want more of this if you oh, ever no. ate it. And if you go down to the south of England, you can get yourself a clotted cream tea. Okay. And so they like... put clotted cream in your tea. No. <laughs> A scone, <laughs> a jam, and okay. clotted cream. That's called okay. a clotted cream tea. Oh, it's like a, it's like a, like, okay, like, like a cream a, tea, like a like a tea, like a like a, a cream high tea. tea. Is a, is a scone, right? With like jam and cream. That's a cream tea. But it's okay, cream tea. so it's nothing to do with actual tea. You have it with your tea. Well, you have it. You have a cup of tea with it. Mm. Which you would do you then put milk in that milk tea? Milk in first. Oh my god! See, that's the whole thing. Tea. Milk then tea. Yes. No, no, no! You do tea then milk. No. How how are you supposed to know how much milk to put in? Because because you've had tea before. <laughs> good God! Good God! Wait, 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 wait! So so wait. So do you do okay? Always milk first. So you do milk first, then the tea bag. No, <laughs> you have a teapot. No. What are you a philistine? Have yeah, I not put you up yeah. probably? I'm just like, like you have a teapot. I remember. Okay, I remember the first time I had tea. It was yes. here in New Zealand after we'd moved. Hmm. Um, well, probably not. I probably had tea way before that, but I remember this is the first time I remember having tea. I think tea. I weaned you on tea. We're British. I mean, that, <laughs> I'm sure that happened. Probably. Yeah. You're like, formula? <laughs> I don't think so. There's sippy tea in the sippy cup of tea. Actually, I think I did. Oh, you probably did. I did. I, to be fair, I'm the el- I'm the oldest. Yeah. So I, I'm the test child. <laughs> what do you mean? You were the that, test case. That was the test. I was the test pancake, and unfortunately, <laughs> it explains a lot. Oh, that's my moderator. Shout out to Snake Eating Mouse for roasting me in my own fucking chat. Nice. My own moderator. Nice. Oh man, Snake, Snake. Okay, 
Um, apparently someone says, I'm British myself, that hurts milk first. <laughs> <laughs> they're now judging it. It's like if, if someone says they're like pineapple on pizza, though, to be fair. People have lots of opinions about that. But no, I remember the first time I had tea, and it was definitely tea first. You made your tea with your tea bag, no, and then you put the milk on top. Pot. No, because then you were like, well, you need to know how much milk to have. And I was like, yeah, thank you. So no, you need to know no, how much no, milk. No, 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 no. <laughs> You changed your mind. See, this is the thing. You change your mind. I don't have milk in my tea. <laughs> no, I don't. no, you don't. <laughs> when was the last time we had milk in tea? Years ago. I mean. I don't remember. I don't remember. I think I, I had milk in my tea like the first time I had tea and I yeah. just gave up after that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. You're here to talk about pineapple on pizza. No, I was going to say, do you pour the milk into a yeah. bowl before you put the cereal in? Or oh, stop. Oh, no, 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 no. What would you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not British. As you can tell, my mum loves my wife. I do. I do. I adore her. Oh, oh thank you, Penn Hendra, for the, uh, for the super chat. Jam first is correct. It is. Oh, my God. And they said, Kerno, but biz, Viking, Cornwall forever. Here she comes. Do you put the tea bag okay. in first or the hot water? Uh, you put the tea bag in first and then the hot water. Don't be silly. <laughs> Why are you... Wait, no, stop. Okay, this is because... No, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Scrubber. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, it, it is literally... There is a whole protocol to making tea. There that is. is like... It's illegal to do it any other to way in the fair. UK. And I know... Oh, look, that Dad's it, here. Oh, no. <laughs> with norm i'm next minute nor dad is here don't dox us don't dox us talk quietly oh my god talk quietly amongst talk yourself quietly amongst yourself away from the house jesus christ could you Rob's could you imagine if celia's tea. parents turned up at this very moment they're like we've oh come my. home early it's like the whole gang's here everyone's in today yeah, yeah. No, but listen, there's a whole there's a whole thing. So the what Celia was talking about, there's a rubric of whether or not cereal is a soup. This is really? welcome to the internet. The internet is terrible. How is cereal a soup? I'm gonna send that to you later so you can argue oh with my. me because she's oh convinced my. that cereal is a soup. Cereal's that, that was just because it's what? Somewhat a liquid. Yeah, but then that, that would be like the, yes, yes. cheese a soup. This is what it would be like Exactly. This is like what this gets down to. A soup. This well, there's a whole rubric about that. Uh, oh man, oh it gets well. ruined. Okay. Is a salad okay. a soup? No, it's but, not. But I don't how much think, dressing you're putting on that I, fucking I don't, salad. I don't think this is gonna answer what the nature of reality is, is it? <laughs> Hey, no, Dad. Hi. Okay, we're live right now. Everyone can hear you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> the real Kiwi's it's come making through. making me a cup the of tea. actual Kiwi accent, right? Oh, G'day. my God. Oh, <laughs> not <really. laughs> G'day. Okay. How long have we uh, lived here? Chur, chur, bro. No, no, it's Kiora. Sorry, I cannot. I can't. Kiora? Kiora. <laughs> Kiora. I asked no. Well, there was that orange juice drink in the 70s. Okay. You remember that? No. Oh, okay. I wasn't around in the 70s. I don't know if it's still now. It's like orange squash and it was called okay. Kiora. Was it? And it was like, um, like it was like a boy okay. and his dog okay. and the crows would follow him. Okay. And he'd go, no, it's too orangey for crows. Someone's saying it's Tang? Is it called Tang No, now? it's called Kiora. It's called <laughs> and, and they were like, no, it's too orangey for crows. It's just for me and my dog. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Yeah. Is this what goes Kiora. on in your brain like Kiora, midnight? Kiora. Are you like lying down at night and go, wow, ah. that happens. The adverts I have known. <laughs> oh my God. Also, thank you, Ty Marshall, for the super chat. Tea bag first, then water, then milk, then sugar, is what they're saying. Yeah, but teapot has to come into it. <laughs> you know, so you're like, have so, you? Oh, so, so your hot take is, Norm Mum says, if you're not doing it with a teapot, you're not doing it right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're gonna have milk in your tea. You're we can hear you, box. by the way. Oh dear. Here we go. One of my friends uses tea bags. Super small preparation than salt. Oh no. Here we go. Here we go. This now gazpacho is a fruit smoothie. Get out of here. Stop that. What the fuck? Here's a fun uh, product okay. that they could make. What? Tea bag soup. So <laughs> imagine. You know, like you okay. got like a cup of soup. Yeah. Imagine if they like had an infusion. Like you could put it in a tea bag and like have like a savory like tea. This is like a whole product. They, they could tea do it. Bag soup. Yeah, tea I bag thought soup. you meant like soup that's like a tea bag, and I was like, Mom, oh. they already have that. It's called tea bag. No, 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 like... no, no, no. No, but instead of putting tea in the okay. tea bag, they could put like soup. What, like chicken noodle soup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tea not bag. noodles. Not noodles. Obviously you, you, not. Yeah, no, no, no. But like a, like a broth. That would be terrible. Yeah, like a broth. That would be terrible. Cup yeah. of soup is good as it is. Mm. Well, you, you don't agree? T cup of soup is good as of it is? Of course not. Oh my God. Oh my God. You'd be saying super noodles. Savory again. infusion. 
Yeah, okay, savoury infusion, yeah, we yeah, get it, we yeah. get it. Like a savoury, mm-hmm. like a like a Bovril situation. Somebody's also trying to say American cheese is the best cheese. No, what's no. the best cheese? I love that you laughed when they said American <laughs> cheese is the best cheese <laughs> and your first reaction is, <laughs> Well, I've been there. I've also been to France. So, I know, um, I know, you've yeah. had best cheese. Yeah. yeah, best cheese. Is it all vegetarian, though? No. In France? No, I was going to say, is, the cheese, is, any of it is, is, is anything vegetarian in France? Oh, well, probably not. No. It's probably all seen some sort of meat. No, I mean, a lot of cheeses are. Mm, 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 just, mm, just by their nature. Mm, 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 and you can't beat a bit of Wensleydale. Wensleydale? Wensleydale. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah You're going to Wallace and Gromit it up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never had Wensleydale. Oh, it's delightful. Is it? Yeah. Mm. And Edam mm-hmm. that we get here is not like real Edam. No, that's what that's what um, Celie was explaining to me yesterday. Yeah. Because we got Colby recently. Oh. <laughs> That's really? weird. No, no, no. We Did were you at, like it? No, we went down to we went down to the supermarket, and yeah. it was either you buy a block of Tasty. So Tasty is like cheddar, right? So it's like a cheddar yeah. cheese here yeah. in New Zealand. Yeah. We call it Tasty, um, and it's like seventeen dollars for a block. And I was like, that's ridiculous. The Colby next to it was eleven, and I was like, well, that's because it's shit. Okay, but it but I was weird. also hanging out with Celia's parents, mm. who are very cost effective. And if I bought the seventeen dollar cheese, my God, I was going to hear about it for about five five days afterwards. So mm. I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. So I bought the, the Colby and then I tried it for the first time and I was like, you know what? It's kind of mid. It's weird. <laughs> it's got a weird aftertaste. Yeah, I'm Celia, not lie. Celia grew up on it. Do you know that? Mm. Their house was a Colby house. Ugh. Apparently, it put her off cheese toasties. I reckon. <laughs> I reckon <laughs> you've just got strong opinions about cheese. I do. I mm-hmm. like cheese. I'm I'm a cheese fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm into cheese. I know. I know you do a lot of grilled cheese sometimes. Yeah. On your gluten free bread. Yeah. Mm. I do. Mm-hmm. With soup. With soup, yeah. Oh, is that why? Okay, soup. so that's why you're invested in this tea bag cup of soup moment. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm into soup. <laughs> soup is a soup is a thing. Mm-hmm. Like I eat soup like four times a week, mm-hmm. even in summer. Oh no! Even someone someone said the biggest culinary crime is squirty cheese. Ah, oh. <laughs> here squirty we go. Cheese. Squirty cheese, spreadable cheese. Have you ever had squirty cheese? No, you have. You must have oh, had Oh, I grew up cheese. in the 70s. I was going to say. I, I, I've had, is I that mean, when they invented squirty cheese? Oh, God, yeah. Of course it must have been. That and Finder's Crispy Pancakes. Oh, no. Which, I mean, And they know, sound delightful. They are delicious. Did, we, did which I means... ever have those? I, I feel like I must have. Yeah, you probably did. They sound great. You could either get mince, mince inside in a tomato okay. sauce or you could get cheese. Okay. And by the time you got it, the cheese was so nuclear hot <laughs> inside. This is liquid. No. Liquid cheese that, that like, you mm-hmm. would just, half an hour later, you'd still burn your mouth on it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Sounds great. And awful. And, and potato waffles is what you'd have with waffles. it. Potato oh, waffles. Mm-hmm. I remember eating them like row by row as a kid, <laughs> like in an autistic way, you know. <laughs> and you're like, I should have known yeah. I was autistic. <laughs> I ate like this. Do you do, you do the thing where you, your food can't touch though? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know a lot of people. I mean, I do that yeah. and I don't have autism. Yeah. But however... Mm, however, I, I've noticed actually, and, and this probably should have been the, the ticket of why we are all very, very, very neurodivergent in this family. Um, all of us have weird food shit. Yeah. Everyone. Every single person has weird food shit. And then my wife comes along and she also has weird food shit. And I'm like, wow. The other day we had nachos with my wife's parents. And normally they just put it on a big tray and they all eat it together. And when they asked me if we were going to put it on a big tray and eat it together, I looked at them like they'd committed a crime. You know, like, excuse me? What? What did you just say to me? You say you were going to put it on Wimby. But I was like, but hold on. But how? Like, okay, I don't like salsa. My wife likes salsa. So how's that going to work? Then also, like, what if what if I want beans? She doesn't like beans. You guys don't like beans. What if you want avocado? See, it doesn't work. you gotta, you got to separate that shit out, right? What if you don't like nachos? <laughs> And, I mean, then, and then you're like, I mean, how am I going to eat this plate of nachos? Yeah. I don't even like nachos. Yeah, yeah. how are you going to eat nachos? Oh, if you God. Don't like nachos? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's a whole problem there. Mm. Yeah, I was just like, I don't, I don't get that. I remember growing up, we we, <laughs> we all had different food. Yeah. I remember yeah. you cooking like four different meals. Yeah. You tried not to. I I, <laughs> uh, I only ate three things as a child. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It was omelet, years? omelet, crispy bacon, and yeah. jam sandwiches. Wow, that's yeah. wild. And I then know. you became vegetarian, so you had to take crispy bacon off that menu. I had to take crispy bacon off the menu. <laughs> but and veggie that, bacon's that pretty it. good. What's that? Veggie bacon's pretty good. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love veggie bacon. Yeah. So for people who don't know, I grew up mostly vegetarian uh, because of, of, of Normum. But that was ruined. Your, I know your plan was to, yeah, to raise was. me vegetarian. All of you. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to propagate this for the human race and animal kind. And then what happened? And then you went to a party, <laughs> ate a sausage roll and came back and said, I ate a sausage roll and it was delicious. And I'm like, oh, she's ruined. <laughs> ruined. Ruined, I tell you. And then you, you married Nordad, who, who likes yeah. meat. 
Yeah, just yeah, meat, 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 meat and more meat. meat. Yeah, meat. I remember we we never had like we barely had meat growing up until no. Dad comes along, <laughs> and then we started having roast chicken on a Sunday, and I was like, wow. Yeah. This is amazing. I, I mean, can't believe this. I will say, well, you know, like, what are you having for dinner? Dead cow. <laughs> yeah. I know. I remember growing up, your whole thing was, if you can't go and kill it yourself, well, yeah. I don't think you should be eating that's that. Right. It's like, yeah. yeah, that's valid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kill it with your bare hands, children. <laughs> Put your hands around that chicken's neck if you want to eat it for dinner. And you're plucking it. Oh, my God. <laughs> that would be awful. <laughs> To be fair though, like I like as I got older too, I'm like, oh, I don't need that much meat. I don't need that much meat these days. I don't know. I don't like the taste of most meat, so like that kind of helps for me, you know. Like I don't know if you remember what meat tastes like. You probably um, haven't had it in a long time. No, I was twelve when mm-hmm. I. So like, mm-hmm. ooh, forty odd years. Oh my god, wow. forty years. Yeah, I know. Norman would ki- no more. Norman wouldn't kill a chicken. That's why she's vegetarian. No, I wouldn't. No, I really. She really likes wouldn't. chickens. I yeah. don't, but she does. <laughs> I don't even kill insects. Oh no. Yeah. Somebody said, "Is toast sandwich a real thing?" Is toast sandwich a real thing? That's not a British thing. What is a British thing that's like horrific and shouldn't be allowed, but is and is delicious? Oh well, a Scottish thing is deep fried pizza. Really? Oh yeah. Yeah, like so you take the shittiest pizza <laughs> that you can find, like a frozen like, pizza. Yeah, just the shittiest, but not even a good quality. Like no, just McCain like the worst. One, just like the worst. <laughs> I love that you like, thought of a brand. Like, You're like McCain. Not McCain. McCain's a good. No, have not you ever McCain. had a McCain frozen pizza? Yeah, it's a, it's okay. decent. Okay. I'm, I'm talking about like my mum's brand or something like that. Okay. You know, there was a Scottish brand in like the 80s, like 90s, Pam's, and it was called Pam's frozen yeah, pizza. Yeah, it was called my mum's. Okay. And they used to do the shittiest coffee. It was like <laughs> if you if you like blew it, it would just like like fly off the spoon it was that sort of <laughs> like it was like powdered oh yeah, no was, anyway. uh, so imagine this my mum's pizza that's yeah. been sitting at the bottom of a freezer yeah since like 1962 <laughs> oh my god and then you take that pizza <laughs> <laughs> and you transport it to a fish and chip shop no. in scotland perhaps in glasgow or something do they provide like that. their own pizza or do you have to provide it oh you don't provide your own oh, pizza. i was gonna say but okay. that's what they do they like have a freezer out the bag maybe they store a dead body in it and the pizzas are under the pizzas body are under the body yeah okay. so they like they yeah they're oh like God. yeah because this is glasgow it's a little bit dodgy so, oh my God. Yeah, i mean in a lovely and then goes way the Scottish in a, sorry in Scottish a lovely fans. Way. i love scotland i love it Grew i can there, imagine the twit longer now yeah. norma's mum cancelled because she does no, I love Scotland. It is my spiritual home. Okay. Anyway, so, but Glasgow, as we can all agree, <laughs> is a little edgy. Okay. So, and okay. the dead body in the freezer. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm imagining a chest freezer, okay. obviously. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and the mm-hmm. pizzas underneath. And then they take these pizzas. I don't even need to frost them. Maybe they don't take the plastic no. wrappers off either. No, you, you know? can't uh, Maybe the they plastic. don't. Yeah. So, what they do is they then dunk them into the deep mm-hmm. fat that they have used for the fish and the chips and all of that. And they just leave it, leave it, leave it. Do they batter it? They batter no, it. No, they do not batter it. They don't batter it. No, I they imagined just, it was always battered. No, they just <gasps> deep fry it. They just put it but in the freezer. Here's the, the thing. Fryer. Here's, here's a genius bit. When okay. they pull it out, they yeah. fold it in half. Why? Yeah, because it's gross. <laughs> but delicious. <laughs> they don't want to look but, at it. Yeah, it's delicious. So when you bite it, it's like okay. it's like a pizza, s- deep fried pizza sandwich. Is okay. the only way I can describe it? Weird. And like for 24 hours afterwards, the roof of your mouth yeah. is greasy. No, yeah, for twenty four hours, and it's and like you a, know this from experience because you're just like oh, twenty four hours because afterwards. There's nothing better than a night out, and you can have a proper <laughs> night out in Scotland yeah. because the the clubs are open till like six in the morning. Oh my gosh! And then on the way home, you can get a deep fried pizza and just mm-hmm. mop it all up with that. <laughs> Somebody mentioned blood pudding, and now I think I know where the blood from the blood pudding came yeah, from. Black pudding. <laughs> As we oh call it dear. in the UK. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Someone said, "Is it pepperoni pizza or like what kind of? Pe- is it just like oh, just cheese any? and tomato? Cheese and tomato. Just cheese and tomato. Regular it's cheese pizza. Always just a regular cheese pizza. I mean, it's enough. It's enough. You, I don't think you want to add <laughs> you meat. You don't want to add meat to that. No, I don't think you do. Oh no, no I don't think you do. Yeah, yeah. That and you follow it up with a deep fried Mars bar, and I think you'd end up in A and E. Somebody also just mentioned deep fried Mars yeah, yeah. bar. I just saw a deep fried Mars bar. Yeah, specialty. Do you Scotland? know? Okay, so they do here. They do a deep fried Moro bar, which is pretty much the same thing. They they basically coat a Moro bar, which is essentially a Mars bar with mm-hmm. extra steps, mm-hmm. and then they coat it in the in the fish batter. Uh, well, obviously not the fish fish batter, but yeah, they, they could coat be. it. In, could, oh well, we don't Umami. know. Umami. Umami. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sweet and salty. So they like yeah. they like put it in there, then they freeze it. And then they yeah. do it again because they have to make sure they've they battered Good it layer. twice. Layering layer. the shit. Thick, thick and then layer. they fry it. So the last time that Celia's parents were here, uh, we hocked it over to the fish and chip shop um, and we got one. Oh. And I can tell you, we split it. We bought two and split it between the four of us. And I can tell you, um, 
Oh man, it was um, it was an experience. I I wasn't expecting the chocolate to leak out. Oh what? I wasn't. I don't know why I was well, thinking. <laughs> mel melted. That's the whole point. Well, luckily we have baby you wipes in the car because yeah. it's just like everywhere. Of course. And we well, stood out the car, like leaning over the side of the street, going, "Why did we do this? The scent is going to be liquid, but well, delicious." It was. Yeah, it yeah. was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it, it was delicious? awful. Was it? it was really tasty, but I would never do it again. I don't think I could. It was like one of those things too. It was tasty, and then after the first bite, you're like, I. You can't. I can't. I, can't. <laughs> I just I can't. can't. Do I can't do that. Ah. Oh my god, we got a highlighted message. Greeting Norma and Normum. I hope you're both having a great morning. Oh, thank you so much, DC Sensei. Hey, hey. <laughs> what do you think of small? I mean, smalls are good. You haven't had a marshmallow in years, though. No, I've never had a smalls. You've never had a smalls. Not ever. You've never had a smalls. No, I, okay. I, I feel like this level of incredulity you've never is like had somewhat. A no, I, honestly, you've never had a smalls. Could, could, could you could you take it up a notch, perhaps? You've never. <laughs> Had a s'mores. That will be the clip. I'll do. I'll do a granddad. Oh, oh the humanity. <laughs> a s'mores. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, chat agrees with me. There's a lot of capital letters in these in these comments. I, I have never had a s'more. I have never had a s'mores. I have never. Wow, had a s'more. we've got vegan marshmallows. We'll have to make you a s'more. I don't want. We'll a have s'more. to do a hand cam where we make a uh, s'more and we ooh, force you to eat it ooh, on the uh, stream. <laughs> Front of the ghost. I feel. I feel like. Oh mm, my god! I think it'd be I don't great. Know. I don't we know. could. We could sit here. We could make a little. We could do a little campfire yeah. stream where we roast marshmallows outside and then make you eat one. I've never roasted a marshmallow. You've never roasted okay. a marshmallow. Okay. Oh shit! Oh shit! Can you just like you know? <laughs> Just, to be fair, this is the quietest I've ever been on stream. I feel like so. only dogs could hear that last <laughs> minute. <laughs> the, like, the, the dogs are like all down the street like, what? <laughs> We've been summoned. <laughs> She's never had a s'more. Quickly, dogs. Dogs assemble. This keeps getting worse, apparently. <laughs> Mom's first s'more, it will go viral. There you go. Yeah, I have you, never roasted Do you want me to be successful as a VTuber, oh, Mom? Oh, <laughs> what? What? Like I give a I'm going to make you, oh my God, I'm going to make you suffer for my face. No. I'd be like, I want to be famous Suffering? on the internet, mother. Now you have to suffer. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. That'd be really funny though. If we're doing a camera story, we have to tell ghost stories. To be fair, Normum has tons of ghost stories. I have, I have so many ghost stories. So many. The, so the many. funny part about Normum's ghost stories though is then she go, and that really happened. And yeah. we'll all go, no. oh, great. <laughs> I don't want to sleep tonight. <laughs> Everyone's like, we're not sleeping for the next five yeah. years. Here's a bedtime story, kids. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Here's how this happened. Oh, sleep dear. tight. Oh my god, Smorcha! Somebody has yeah. named the Smorcha. Uh, I think I th I'm, I'm with name it. Is I'm with Smorcha. Yeah. my mum. <laughs> you know I'm gonna burn myself on that toasted marshmallow. It's true. And then I the am. problem because you have um, you have uh, dyspraxia, and I also have lobsicle hands when I'm around you because I think I just pick it up from you. you do. When you're it's <laughs> catching. It's catching. And the thing is, right? So there's this one time we were we were at my mum's work and we were trying to hold just a single sheet of paper, mm. and I don't. I'm not even kidding when I say. Her passing me a piece of paper looked like two lobsters just trying to hold on to something. It was just like, it was like, it was like, whoa, whoa, oh no, juggling this paper. And then all of a sudden it ended on the floor and we both looked to the floor and went, oh. Well, thank God it wasn't a small child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that why? That's why we're not allowed to hold the nephews for too long. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Like, Every whoops. time I pick one of my nephews up, my, my brother looks at me like, because he knows. He's like, I know how clumsy you are. I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. It's See, that's clumsy. the problem. It's and so I think, I think I agree with you. I think if yeah. we did do a roasty marshmallow stream, you'd probably pick the, I'd give you the stick and it'd be like, ooh, ah! Yeah. <laughs> with like it would some end up in somebody's music. eye. <laughs> And the clips would end up with like that. What's that music that they do? The comedy music, like da 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 da. Wow, wow, wow. With a lot of oh god, it's on the floor. I can't eat that. It's on the floor. Sorry, guys, can't eat that. It's on the floor. Oh dear, that's so. It's so bad. It's so bad. Contagious. I think. I think we've all got our childhood, like you know treats and stuff that we yeah. remember fondly okay so, so what's your number one do you have a number one did not feature in that I, I mean look we had some like really horrendous lollies in the 70s sweeties mm -hmm. um like i can't I love even... that you were like lollies and you're like sweeties well both <laughs> all both. of the above and mm. uh, i can't even think about a cola cube without getting a headache Col what's a cola cube it's like it's like a well it does what it says on the tin okay it's a cube of cola fair. 
No, it's not. It's not like cold. It's not, no. It's it's oh like a God. it's like a sucky a sucky sweet. <laughs> sucky sweet. Okay. But it's shaped like a cube. Okay. So for starters, what do you think is going to happen when you put it in your mouth it's and like suck it? A, a cube. A cube. Its corners are going to oh, stick ow. in the roof of your mouth. Mm, yeah. No, not fun. And, and it tastes like Coke. It tastes like cola. No. Oh. oh. It's like immediate headache. Okay. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a sweetie headache. See, I like oh. cola flavored stuff. Oh no. I think cola it's bottles. Cola yeah. bottles. We have a whole box of them. We just ate four kg of cola nope. bottles the other nope. day. <laughs> I'm getting a headache thinking about it. It was good. It was really good. Nope. Oh no. Nope. <laughs> but it was a cube. Yeah. It was Do like they a still cube. sell those? I'd love to try. I one don't of those. know. I don't know. But they used mm, to sell. Them they used to sell sweets um, like by the quarter when I was a kid. By the quarter. I know. This what is does the that weird mean? thing. So you go into the local shop, mm. and the shopkeeper would be standing at the counter, okay. and behind him would be these massive like um, plastic jars okay. of of sweets. Okay. And he would have like a scale in front of him. Okay. With some paper bags next to it. This feels Willy Wonka and to you me. Would, I know. Mm. I had a magical childhood. And you'd go <laughs> and you'd say, can I have a quarter of lemon sherbets, which were my favourites. Okay. And they would like put them on the scale and then put them in the paper bag and charge you the money and off you'd go with your like paper bag full of sweeties. Well, or you could get what a, does you a could quarter get a mix. even mean? It's like a handful. I don't know. It's a quarter. <laughs> a quarter of a. Okay. I don't know. I, I don't know what it was. I'm a imagining of. maybe it's what? like a quarter of the bag, but then I'm also like, no, why no, 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 no. It's a weight. It's a weight. It's a weight. So it'd be like. But no, 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 no. Like a quarter of a. Well, okay. I'm trying to think what because okay. it'd be a UK weight. So it wouldn't right. be a pound. No. Maybe it's a quarter of a pound. Maybe it's a quarter of a pound. Maybe it's a quarter. Okay. Of a pound. Okay. There we go. There you go. There we go. Because lollies are quite heavy. Interesting. Aren't they? But they don't have sweet sweet shops like that these days, do they? No. Well, not unless you're going somewhere nice and there's like the usually you scoop your own. True. These days. And make your own bags up. Uh, po- post post Rona, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rona? yeah. I mean, they could come back. Post Here's Rona, the thing, that could they be. They want to sell you more sweets. That's true. So when you scoop your own, you're over, always going to over scoop. That's true. But you go okay. in and see, ask for a quarter, and you get your, mm. your quarter, and off you go, and you mm. can have mixed as well. Oh, and they'd that's have very them, fancy. They'd have them sweetie necklaces. Yeah, as well. You know the I ones you could. Yeah, they're not good here. <laughs> Oh, they're not. No, they're not good here. I've had them here. I don't like them. Mm. Here being New Zealand, um, I, I don't know. The ones in the UK taste different. L- lollies in the UK taste different. Yeah. I don't understand that. Like, it, it really baffles me how you can move somewhere and then all of a sudden the lollies taste different. Like, it's the same lolly. Why do they taste different? They in taste different... different in Europe as well. Yeah, that's weird, yeah. right? Why? I think the chocolate, they have to put stuff in. Well, this is the way that your nan always used to tell me when we go on okay. holiday. And I'd go, the chocolate's weird. And they go, yeah, they have to put stuff in it to make sure it doesn't melt because it's hotter over here. And I'm oh, like, okay. That? Is, is that a thing? Is it? I don't know. Mm. That's very weird. Here's what will blow your mind. Mm. When I was a kid, mm. there was a drink, a fizzy drink yep. that we used to have okay. like every week. Okay. And it was called Dandelion and Burdock. Yep. Yeah. What's that? It's like a fizzy drink. It, okay. was, it was delicious. But it was dandelion? No, it's called dandelion and burdock. But and it, it doesn't like, have anything to do with dandelion. it was like a deep purple color, like okay. almost like a color of Coke, but slightly more purple. Yeah. And it was called dandelion and burdock. Now, I imagine okay. originally it would have had like dandelions in it and burdock, whatever burdock Yeah, is. what is burdock? Is it, is it like some sort that's of witches? Like, that's is it, like, is it like lemon and pyroa. Because it's like lemon in the water yeah. of pyroa. Yeah. What does that mean? I know. What is what yeah. is pyroa taste yeah. like? We don't. We still don't know. Iron brew in Scotland. Iron brew. Iron brew made in Scotland. Scotland from girders. From what? Girders. What the fuck is that? It's a girder. A girder? Yeah. What's a girder? You know, like when you build a like a, a high rise, you use girders. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> iron like, yeah. What is no, but what is what is girder? It's a girder is like an iron what? iron bar that you go to. So they like, put they put iron bars and iron no, brew? No, they don't. That was <laughs> that was the tagline. Okay. The tagline was iron brew, made okay. in Scotland from girders. That's the way they said it. They did say it. Honestly, you can okay. look it up. You can okay, look it up. Okay, okay, okay. And it is rust coloured. It's rust coloured. Yes. That's a bit off putting, though, isn't no, it? That's delicious. Do people really want to eat stuff that's rust coloured? No, yeah, you don't eat it, you drink it. Oh, well, well but do it's you know not what I mean? Soup. It's not soup. Yeah, somebody said good as a main steel beam. They are. They are. They do iron brew and other flavours now, apparently. It's like Fanta. Uh, who, who needs that? Oh my god! Apparently, OG, um, OG and best. Apparently, our friend Specs laps up iron brew like there's no tomorrow. It's, it's becoming delicious. a problem. It's delicious. Oh no! You would have it for your peace in Scotland. Your peace. Yeah, your morning tea. Okay. That's what they call oh your peace. It's like you're speaking another language yeah, right now. I don't that's know what what's going on. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Okay, dandelion burdock is actually made out of dandelions and burdock leaves. Unless yeah. you buy the cheap ones, then it's just flavoring. According yeah. to someone in the chat, that's I imagine amazing. We bought the cheap one. <laughs> they probably bought the cheap one. Yeah. Knowing knowing what I know about Nan, 
I used to get sent round to the off license. Oh God! Of a of a Friday night. She does night. love a cheap shop. Yeah, though. yeah. Uh, when I was a kid. Your nan when loves a, a cheap shop. Yeah, well, she does. My God, they've closed down the one that she used to go to. There used to be a two dollar shop in town. She used to frequent. Well, thank. She thank knew, the they Lord. knew her by name. I know. <laughs> I know. She'd turn up with her shopping bag and she'd be like buying like like more than two dollars worth of stuff. And that's yeah. that's the wildest part to me. You can go to the two dollar shop and spend more who than can, that. Who can overspend what in a two dollar shop? What's going on? It tastes like licorice for anyone wondering. Does it take, li- taste like licorice? Um, no, I don't mm. think it's quite. It's not as aniseedy as that. Okay. And okay. I I like an aniseed because mm. I was into Puno and Black when I was younger. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, no, this is not. It's got a. It's got a very unique flavor, mm-hmm. like LMP and like Iron Brew. Okay, it's, it's, it's not just like, like anything it just else. tastes like this. It's quite delicious, mm-hmm. but probably only because I grew up on it and I was like weaned on the stuff. You know, <laughs> you were yeah. like, this is like, all I've known. This is all I knew. I know nothing else but dandelion oh and burdock and fish and chips. Oh my god! When I was small. All right, I think I think we're gonna end it here today. But I just want to say, everyone, say thank you to Norman for coming to the stream today. Oh, thank you for having me. And if you want to see more more goose nanigans from Norman, you can <laughs> you can comment in the comments after the stream's over on the YouTube. Um, yeah, someone said thank you, Goose Mom. Honk. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! This is gonna be every time now. Every time someone says. Says Goose, you're gonna be like honk, and you'll be like, oh, that's it, the whole thing. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. I was gonna say, where can people find you? But you're literally not on the internet. (laughs) I am everywhere and nowhere all at once. (laughs) She reads all your comments, but um, we've no idea how because she doesn't have any accounts anywhere. They're coming through the ether too. (laughs) She just lies in bed at night and she can see all your messages in her brain, and she's like, wow, that's a lot. You're saying some strange stuff. That's a lot. Mostly it's about how big my titties are and how short my skirt is, but you know, that's not a thing. That's not a thing. Yeah, honk that's, that's not some Bigfoot titties. That's some, like, <laughs> gravity-defying titties. Wait. Not oh, some, my Not God. some Bigfoot down to her knees titties. <laughs> oh, my God. Honestly, though, who would make a costume and make the tits shit on it? Is what I'm saying, right? <laughs> if those two men made that costume, if a man had uh, anything to do with that costume, that Bigfoot you costume, think so? it would be yeah, like Pamela them, Anderson. Them tits, costumes? Would be, them tits would be no, big. No, sorry, not Pamela anymore. She's she's had yeah, her, them downsized. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, them tits would be big, bouncy. <laughs> like and an anime girl. Yeah, they would be. They would not Gravity be some droopy anime as titties. old Bigfoot girl <laughs> titties. Oh, they would not. Oh yeah. dear. Oh, but Enough anyway, <laughs> all right, ghosties. <laughs> okay, until next time, don't forget to stay spoopy, and we will see you later. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.